What is up, everybody? Welcome to the Edge of Tech. I'm Jim, and I have a, a laser, a freaking a laser. <laughs> uh, happy Friday, everybody. It's 9 o'clock Central. Uh, happy Friday, everybody, wherever you're at. It doesn't matter. Um, we're going to rock and roll. We're going to get this laser. This is the uh, two trees, not three trees, two trees, uh, TTS-55. Um, we're going to get this thing unboxed, built, and hopefully a first burn. And I just remembered something off the top of my head. I brought a wasteboard in. Or I brought the wasteboard with me, but I left it in the car outside. So yeah, we'll see what happens. Uh, <laughs> we're going to get this thing rock and roll. And happy Saturday from the future. Yes. Welcome from the future. Andrew S. is in the future as well. Local maker Michigan talking about lasers earlier on Twitter. Um, so you can check this one out too. Um just waiting for a few people to get in here. While I'm waiting, actually, I'm going to bring in uh, a special guest. John from Tripods Garage is going to join us. He already did a review on this laser. I thought it would be fun to have him uh, commentate, maybe check out comments while we're building and tell me what I'm doing wrong. Um, and, you know, he's got the leg up on the con on the uh, laser, so we're going to get him in there. Hey, John, how are you? <laughs> it, you've taken that pretty darn uh, great there for the leg up stuff. Yeah, so, I, you know, I think I've used that about 17 times in the last couple of years. But it sounds, it it sounds so fresh every time, yeah, so it's, it's, it's Keep rolling it's, with it. It's fresh. <laughs> I got the water rolling. I'm still um, coming off the the, uh, the additional uh, souvenir I took home from Murph called COVID. Um, so I got this stupid cough going still. And, um, you know, I, I got home and didn't know I had it for like 24 hours. And I gave it to my little guy and my wife. So that was not awesome. But... Uh, the only reason why I tested is because I saw Daniel Modbot um, or Modbot um, post that he tested positive. And I'm like, man, I got congestion. That's what I woke up with on Monday morning. Uh, I thought my voice was just shot because I talk so dang much at, at Murph, you know. And um, so I got, you know, I had the congestion and a little bit of a headache. And I was like, you know, I'm going to test. It was Monday afternoon when he posted. I was like, I better test. <laughs> sure yeah. enough, it came back. Uh, but you guys, yeah. you guys left unscathed, right? You were at Merck. Well, well, I, yeah, I, <laughs> we were all vaccinated in my house, and we had it all in December. And uh, we wife wakes up, and we wake up one morning, and it's like we were both coughing, and she's like, "Do you think we have it?" I said, "Well, honey, everything's COVID now, so yeah, <laughs> you know." I'm like, so, and then it it was just it felt like a cold, and then people at our work started calling in. They're fully all vaccinated too. And then it's like, Oh, we better get tested. And then it, it went downhill a little bit from there. I, mine felt like a really bad flu. Um, hers was like a really bad cold with cough. I think it's almost like what you have. And the yeah. daughter felt like she had strep throat all, you know, her, she got it like a little bit later, but right. I think with this is you don't know you're contagious until right. after the fact. So yeah. Yeah. And that's what happened. I, I, I wouldn't even have tested until I saw a mod bot post. I'm like, yeah. you know, I probably yeah, should. I and, then, and then I saw everybody start. Po I'm like, crap. Um, but I work at a hospital full time. So I had to call in on Monday and let them know Monday, you know, after I tested. Actually, we did a hot make show. Um, and then I called in right after the hot make show. And um, <laughs> then they made me go do a uh, actual test Tuesday morning and they confirmed it, you know, through the real test or whatever. Um, and then I got to take the whole week off um, and use my PTO. So that was the week that, you know, it wasn't the best. But <laughs> I got to yeah. use my PTO for nothing. But hey, I got some cool stuff done, which is great. And I, I did as much as I could. Um, uh oh, where'd my knife go? I did as yeah, much I, as I, I could. I was hanging out with but... Sam Prentiss for a whole week. So I was kind of worried yeah. that he would not get back, but he was fine too. Yeah, that, that would have been crazy if he would have uh, tested positive and then not been able to go back. Um, speaking of Sam Prentiss, he'll be on Hot Makes on Monday. So, no. Um, okay. Yeah, he's. He was, he was a lot of fun. There's some uh, oh, he's videos a riot. floating around yeah. out there that I'm sure people have may or may have not seen. But um, we're going to get this thing unboxed. We're going to get rocking. So if you have any questions, shoot them out there. Um, John, if you see any questions, and yeah, I miss, I'll, let me I'll know. I'll chat. Why don't you make yourself a little yeah. bit bigger, and I'll hang out on the side if you want. So hey, that way. the first time I've ever heard that. All uh, right. <laughs> well, you know. Oh. Whoa, whoa, whoa. Let's go. Whoa, whoa. Let's go. Let's see. I know there's this other layout. Oh, that's at least why I said I'm hanging out on the side while you make yourself. Yeah, bigger. I thought I could put you. I thought we could. 
go the other way. <laughs> yeah, screw it. We'll go this way. I don't care. Um, I was thinking I could put my put you on the left side. Somehow. Okay. But like uh, like we do for hot mix. This is super weird. <laughs> there you go. It's all good. I mean, you're only taking stuff out of the box anyway. Yeah. So what is this? Um, so this is a um, 5.5 watt laser diode. This is yeah. good for materials for like engraving wood, um, leather, um, basically like natural products. I mean, not you're not going to be able to engrave or etch effectively any type of metal. You are right. basically oxidizing stainless steel unless you do some type of coating on there to enhance it. So there are some coatings that you can spray on metal, just like um, like what I do with glass <laughs> is I will put uh, tempera paint on there. It's a washable paint that you'll see in okay. lots of grade schools. And, oh, you know, that so that does, the, someone just asked me about tempera paint. And I didn't even know what that was. So um, I, I've always used, you know, spray paint, stuff like that. But yeah, tempera uh, paint is really great to use. Um, I, I have some samples that I could bring out. Um, actually, yes. uh, I did. Andrew, Andrew S. yes, he did. I got caught up in Murph and then I got sick. I need to get back with Nick because we're going to set up a date and I, I didn't give him a date yet. So, yeah. Let's so, see. this this was done on that laser oh, engraver. Hang on, real quick. I'll, uh, I'll blow you up. Blow me up. Blow you up. Here you go. Nice. Yeah. So, this was done on that laser. This is a bamboo board. I have to nice. check my settings and maybe I could give those to, depends on what Jim tests with. Yeah. Um, my my two trees did not come with a any sample material. Hopefully yours does. Uh, if it doesn't, we'll fake it till we make it. Like I said, I actually left my um, <laughs> I left my I brought a waste board and a, um, another board to carve on or to to burn in uh, in the car. Jumped out of here and totally forgot it up there. But so let's yeah. pop this bad boy open. Um, so I do have the top cam going, so you guys can see what what comes in the box a little easier. Um, We'll send you a sneak peek, but it can't show. Okay, I'm definitely need to check that out, Andrew. So Andrew is hooking me up with another awesome guest um, on Hot Makes, and um, that's going to be pretty cool. So this is, uh, hey, it looks like a piece of cardboard in here, so we can burn that. Nice. Um, little bag of stuff. So I've had this laser for quite a long time, probably um, as long as Tripod has when he got his, because they kind of all send them in batches normally. Mm -hmm. um i just have not done this yet and i apologize two trees it's been uh it's been an interesting couple months um yeah i'm just way behind <laughs> so well, yeah I'm catching up. what they'll, they'll do is blast it all you know for product reviews it takes a yeah. while for us to get it it's you know and when we get it then they want to try to release them all at the same time within the same month right. at least and given the fact that murph was coming up and everything it was a you know, I scrambled to get mine out, so I can't imagine what how many right. you have uh, reviews going on. <laughs> so, uh, and we both work full time, by the way. So, right, yeah. Stay, we'll just say stay tuned for um, stay tuned for quite a few live streams coming up. Um, wow, we got a huge audience of eighteen going. Wow, that's that's a pretty impressive audience for a Friday night. Hey, nineteen, nineteen. Uh, yeah, <laughs> so there's got a, a couple of things. <laughs> Go ahead. I was going to say, there's quite a number of competing streams right now. So Yeah, I didn't even look. Um, <laughs> I think uh, I saw somebody just go live. Maybe Matt, um, right. Akuma right. Rods, maybe. So this is your laser box right here, you know, yep. your laser head. It's a 5.5 watt laser. That's what the TTS 5.5 means, 5.5 laser. Mm -hmm. And then we got this uh, control box, it looks like. Yeah, yeah it's a 32-bit control box and i actually opened that up it does have capabilities of adding um limit switches but i never nice. did it <laughs> i uh i i don't know i really i really prefer limit switches on my lasers but yeah it just makes too. things a little easier um looks like a part of a gantry and a belt yep um i'm just gonna keep moving here it has a dual um, x stepper motors which is kind of weird having one for that small in light of a machine this is yeah right. This is uh, let's see parts. Um, that that's good though. I mean dual dual X stepper motors. I mean a lot of them. Well, for instance, the Ortuers have the the drive bar, and they're they're connected with that mm -hmm. either that bar. Or some of them are belt yeah. connected. 
Um, here's some more parts. We're just going to start rock and rolling here. More parts. Imagine that. This is a lot of parts. <laughs> they, they say it's 60% pre-assembled. And when I actually made a comment on my video, I'm like, it doesn't feel like it. Yeah, I, I'm already seeing that right now. Um, to be fair, uh, a lot of the newer lasers, um, especially in this price range, this is five something, I think, um, are a little more put together. But hey, uh, that doesn't say it's a bad laser. It just means um, it's a little more put together. This was your favorite thing. I think you said, what the heck is this? Oh, so um, I, that is a phone holder. A phone holder. Yeah. I mean, do you use it to put the thing together? <laughs> yeah, I yeah, I guess it's to watch the video on how to assemble it. Nice. I think that's what they're trying there, to say. There so, you go. Yeah, so, Paul Feeney, you won one. Oh, that's pretty cool. Um, uh, nice. Smash Boy, hello, stream. Uh, Where did Philippine. you win it? Philippines. <laughs> HC, fire. No, fire. Not, yeah, I'm on the stream. Not so. yet. Anything's possible. Yes, it definitely is. The last laser I did here didn't fire at all. So we couldn't get anything off of it. Um, so that was fun. Yeah, the extrusions have measuring on all four corners. This is a 300 by 300. It's actually a, a smaller um, one in a class of open-end lasers. So I'm going to put this off over here. Uh, we'll just start. Yeah, yeah the extrusions, this. I'm not a big fan of... Uh, all the saran wrap, but yeah, it looks like uh, Jim is digging through it. Oh, hell but uh, yeah, so it's a um, very, very <laughs> light happening. machine. It, mine is actually hanging up right back there. Uh, nice. So I, I use my slat wall to hang my lasers. So, so uh, spoiler alert: you won't see too many more of these in the near future because I have this one. I think I have another one in there I need to do. Um, and then I've been saying no to these because they're very similar. They're all very similar. Um, and I just don't have the time to do all of them <laughs> as much yeah, as I want to. And I don't uh, have the space. <laughs> it's true. It's uh, these open laser. So I've been cutting back on some of my reviews also because they're very similar. Right. Especially the ones that are the Adam Stack clones, I mm -hmm. just don't even reply to the emails. I get two or three of them a week, and it's like, right, you know, it and has to be very... something that stands out for me. Out of yeah, the I mean, they're very similar. They're all like rebranded, the same thing, but rebranded. You know, yeah. I mean, um, this is totally thing different thing looking, at least. Side. Yeah, you know, and it's right. got injected molded plastics. It's not three D printed. Yeah. Uh, so it's uh, show that. Yep. Maybe. Um, yeah, I mean, very it's, it's nice. Quality. I mean, that, that part's really nice. It even has left on here. I think this one said right, or maybe it mm -hmm. didn't. I thought I saw it. Yeah, it does say right. So it says has a little uh, right and left markers, which is awesome. Um, Paul Feeney, you, uh, <laughs> uh poor blokes, <laughs> uh, too many products. Says, no, it's not, it's not about this. Uh, it's, it's hard to explain. So, for one, hang on, Paul Feeney. Um, you submitted your lead ahead for the two trees anniversary contest. Awesome. I saw that also, um, I purchased a larger size of crate. That's cool, Paul. Uh, and then uh, you poor blokes too many products. To test. It's not about the product. Like I love checking out new stuff. I really, really do. The, the challenge I have is most of it's the same. So I can show you the same laser six times in different colors and different branding, and it's all a lot of it's very similar and, it's, and that's yeah. that's where i'm it's like an ender three it's like you know you you get 700 ender threes and um you know people don't want to see the same ender three anymore they want to see the bamboo lab x1 carbon now <laughs> hey by the way did i tell you i have one of those john um i does it pop popcorn ha uh, you have so I, I gonna let you in on a little <laughs> little secret here that Sam and I were going to we didn't didn't have enough time. I was gonna do take over your section while you're gone or before you came <laughs> in the morning, and I had a popped bag of popcorn and an unpacked <laughs> pop. I was gonna say, and now we got the bamboo. It does. Right. It pops popcorn, and I was gonna take things out like it was like a timer. Nice. <laughs> that would be awesome. That would have been awesome. Uh, real quick, I do like 
when manufacturers do this, and I appreciate this a lot. Mm -hmm. They labeled each bag, maybe you can see that, with, with what size um, bolts these are. And I appreciate that greatly because then you're not just guessing. So I really do appreciate that. Um, the problem is how to make it interesting for, yes. I mean, yes. that's the true story because if it's the same printer over and over, then how do we make it so you want to watch it? you know, over and over. <laughs> yeah, like in my, uh, <laughs> I add food yeah. at the end of every laser thing. So yeah. it's like my it, little, it, it, you know, it's like, okay, what's John, yeah. what's the food that John's going to do at the end of the video? Which I love that. You, you, um, well, you, <laughs> so. and, and, and just so you know, I, I am absolutely 100% um, pumped every time I, I get something new. And it's because of people like you guys watching right now. Uh, you know, that that keeps happening for the channel. And I'm in no way saying that, like, I'm too good to look at anything or anything like that at all, uh, because anything that's offered is is amazing. But I, it's just time. It's, you know, I have a full time job. I have a two year old and a family and I do this. So <laughs> it's all about time. Right. Uh, Blasto, how you doing? Syntax, let's see. Uh, I can't stick around, but I'm really glad both give your time to us all. Um <laughs> for, uh, for those without right, the backlogs, yes. This hey. is a pretty long little build, so I'll take care yeah. of the chat, and we'll talk yeah. as you go through. Because yeah, I'm I was shocked roll. how long this thing took. Uh, <laughs> so uh, I'm definitely going to start rocking and rolling. But um, I know you can't stay around. I appreciate you being here. I appreciate everyone being here because without you guys, recently I hit sixty thousand. So without you guys, I wouldn't awesome. be there. I wouldn't be there. Um, do you guys want to see top, top down? When I build this, I think that's probably good, right? Yeah, let's go. Let's go top. Yeah, down. I need to. I need to do a top-down camera for my uh, garage. Let's do this, here. and it'll show. And then I'll bring the GoPro over too for a third camera if we need to. Um, Blasto, it's doing great. Hey, Blasto, I have stuff for you, man. I have that uh, Lenovo um, ThinkPad, the the laptop um, that I need to get to you. I think you wanted that. We we got to make that happen. All right. So let's let's pull out this manual. Let's get this rocking. How you doing <laughs> there, Brad? Press that, that uh, like button. And I, Brad I, Alston, River City, saying howdy, folks. What up, River City? I don't. Where's yeah. River City? Uh, River, River City RVA. I, I'm yeah. guessing it's right by the river. <laughs> Wait, do you live in a van, Brad? I need to know. <laughs> Rhonda, how Rhonda. you doing? What's going on, Rhonda? All right, let's see what we got. So uh, let me let me do this so you guys can see a little bit of a tiny top view of me. So uh, if you're just joining us, uh, John Tri from Tripods Garage is here with me tonight. He's going to be um, kind of talking to everybody and, and guiding me through this a little bit because he actually already did a review on this. And check out that video. I watched it, and uh, I actually watched it earlier today. <laughs> and, uh, <laughs> I am way behind on YouTube videos as well, uh, but That's I watched it earlier and, and it's definitely a good video. Like, like you were talking about, you need to stick around and see what you burn at the end there. Um, maybe we'll All right, uh, Brad, I'm loving my new X-Tool D1 10 watt. I just got the month ago, but now they just Ooh. came out with the 20 watt. Yeah. I may know something about that. Just <laughs> might. Yeah. I, I'm not going <laughs> to lie. I really like that, that laser too. Um, I don't want to say not not to say that during a stream for two trees, but no. it's a really nice. It, it's competition, and yeah. they know that any any one of them, you know, this is for a different class. So, this is yeah. you know, this is you still are in the entry level laser market, which this one is, and they under you know anyone needs to understand that in the chat, there's gonna be other things brought up. So, oh yeah. And, We'll be okay, I think. Yes, Chris Travis. <laughs> I saw the review of the D1 Pro. Mine will be out uh, soon. So I was working on some of it today. Getting that, I do all those call outs at, you know, when building, and it just takes a long time to edit that part in. So I did all that um, throughout the week here and there. Yes. Nickel and dimed it. And all right. now I get to do the fun part of burning everything. So, so I'm looking at the uh, really nice instructions they gave me here. Um, <laughs> <laughs> yeah, so why didn't yeah. install the frames? So the instructions say install the frames. Mm -hmm. 
So yeah, so your legs are going to go through it. Okay, your four corners, right? So you got to pay attention to how. So it's I believe it's only one bolt per side, and then the um, the legs will have another through bolt that goes through to secure everything in. Yeah. Um, tripods, garage. What are your requirements to run light burn? And is it is a free or paid service? I use everyone that I know will use light burn over laser gerbil any day of the week. It's only like a sixty dollar lifetime yes. purchase, and now they also have the gavel support, so which is a for like the fiber lasers. Unfortunately, I have a Mister Carve M1, and it's not compatible because they have a proprietary board. So that's wow. the only thing that you need to look out for when you buy a laser is to see if it has light burn support. So, so I cannot a question on in. yours. Um, yeah. Are your numbers matching? So zero on one side, like zero here. here. Yeah, give me a zero. second. I'm going to go pull mine off the rack yeah. over here. Because the way they have it shown, that's not the case. But I have a feeling we're going to go like that. Maybe like that. I don't know. We're going to find out. All right. y-axis profile okay so let me grab it doesn't tell me oh here it is um five there m520 by fours m520 by fours and uh like i said all of the packages are actually labeled and i like that the m520 and you'll need actually i said m520 by four the m520 and you'll need four of them that's what it said all right i apologize i'm not watching i i definitely okay, yeah. definitely so, use light burn yeah you're gonna be sending a screw through on each corner and the legs get two screws so you send the so, leg through in each corner first and then the, so the are, is yours um if i'm if I'm looking at this, let's see. If I'm looking at this top down like this here, yep. There's these two countersunk ones here. Yep. Um, it shows the countersink facing in. Oops. <laughs> so it shows the countersinking facing in towards the laser. Yeah. Okay, so you got two bolts. The two bolt holes are your front for your display, your uh, control board. Okay, so that's your two front ones. So you you should have a. Um, Is that the countersunk part? Yeah. So yeah, you should have. Are, the, are those numbers facing this way, or this way? Like, should I be able oh, to read them? Oh yeah, turn it around the other way. Yep. So, so all your. Yeah, all your um, your lines for your you know your ruler mm -hmm. are facing inward. So got it. Yep. Got it. Get it. Yeah. Uh, and then what I see on this, if I'm looking at this correctly, um, on this here, I'm just trying to build it like they show me. It's on one side. It's 44, and the other side it's zero. Is that right? Yep. Cool. Yeah, so it's I not it's, zero, zero, 44, 44? Yep. Yeah, so it's, uh, a <laughs> yeah, yeah, it's kind of confusing, but. Yeah, I just um, want to make yeah. sure those numbers aren't supposed to line up because. Yeah, yeah. They, you, you think they would. Uh, but you know. I think it's, it's purely decoration. Got it. I've never. All right, I, let's do this. Yeah, I've had, I have, let's see, one, two, three, four, five lasers that have markings for measurements i've never used it any option gotcha. hello all right paul uh let's see i'm not going to tighten these all the Are way you still need things for your shelf um of course side of the family yeah. i love yeah. stuff for the shelf uh patch latch tried laser oh. gearable and the tried light burn light burn is well worth the cost absolutely 100 you know, percent. yeah there's, I have a saying in my videos, anything that's free is not worth having. So, 
Look. Well, in, in some ways, <laughs> but for the laser gerbil, that's only in my laser video. I see that. Yeah. So I'm just trying to uh, not put that in the wrong hole there. There we go. Okay. Yeah, that's I'm never not... a good thing. Yeah. <laughs> There's usually some bad consequences. I'm not. I'm not tightening these down yet. No. I'm just trying to get them in. Um, yeah, way so up that north, was the mistake I, I made. Family. Was I didn't. You know, I didn't send the screws in through the sides at first, and I was like, "Oh, okay," because the 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 legs actually help secure it and lock it in. Gotcha. So what what bothered what what's concerning me now is the two sides here. These two sides. These numbers are flipped. It bothers me. It, yeah. So they're not they're not like zeros and forty four. You know, they're forty four here and forty four here down here. If I could show you that, and it it bothers me that they're not on the same. Um, I don't know that they're not printed on the same because I guess maybe I'm crazy, but I just symmetrical. The top and bottom are zeros, and the forties are the same, right? Yeah, am I am I yeah. crazy? The the number the the numbering. Wait a minute, did I do this one wrong? This one well, they stenciled wrong. each one the same, and it just kind of throws you off. You know what? I might have put this in wrong. Well, that's why I was I was looking at mine right here, and um, you're okay. Hold on, Let's turn it around, flip it, just turn it. Just, uh, yep, keep on going, keep on going. One more, a little bit. Yep, okay. Nope. Um, if you have the screw holes on that one in front of you, tilt mm -hmm. it. You should have like yep six screw holes in front. Mm -hmm. And then the countersink is inside. Yeah. Yep. And so then, you got yep. That's your that's where your control board. Nothing. Cool. There should be no screws on the on the back piece. Screw cool. holes. I'm yep. just looking at where it was printed. Yeah. It's actually facing me. Yeah. Now. So, yeah. So you got that one backwards. This one is. Yeah. So it is wrong then, because this side is yeah. zero up front, and this this should be forty four in, in the back. Yeah. So all your um, <sighs> all your um, <sighs> measurements should be on the inside. Yeah, that's what I that's what I was looking at. Um, but I wonder. So so in your top right, no, top left corner, is it say forty four and forty four next to each other? No. Um. So. My lower right says 44 and 44, and my upper left says 44 and 44. Okay. Yeah. So. For, yeah. 40 and 44, and then 40. Yeah. So yeah. I did. I just had this one on backwards here. Yeah. That was the only one that I, I don't know if that'll about. matter or not. No, I, I don't think it does. I think I'll it's flip cool. it. Yeah. I think it's Greetings still, and still hello. Written. Sky yeah. Down. How you doing? Sky Down. Uh, if I remember right, Sky Down is. I could be wrong. I think it is. Skydown's the, the guy who brought the truckload of, of spools. Oh, nice. Murph. Yeah. Tell me if I'm wrong on that, but I'm confuzzling everyone. Yeah. So basically, long story short, I have one of these extrusions um, backwards, and I it just it probably didn't matter because I looked at the screw holes on the back one it really probably didn't matter on this one but i'm gonna change it and i'll show you what i mean in a second here everybody's like what is this guy talking about all right so next so we got that in there um now we're gonna uh, add the feet so he, yeah this guy down he's brought the truckload of spools and working on another one for next year nice, nice. that's awesome Got a little bit of time. Is this the 5.5S? I think this is the, what, 55? Yeah. Yep. Uh, yeah, TTS 55S. So, yeah. so they have two versions of it. This is the updated version. I do like the, you know, I do like the parts that are not printed. Yeah. They're, they definitely have a nice feel to them and they're, you know, nice touch and all that. Um, but yeah, yeah. All right. <laughs> uh, M five. Let's see. M five tens. Ten, ten, tens. Got it. So now we're gonna put the feet on. 
Yes. Yeah, I was uh, sky down. I was so mad when I ordered wrong speed control for mine. Yeah. Oh. And you're the only one I didn't fry. I'm pretty yeah. sure yeah. I gotta I gotta figure mine out because I'm pretty sure that my I don't know my motors won't turn. So they definitely could have fried. I I could tell you uh, who did fry. I'm pretty sure Lulzbot fried theirs. Oh yeah, yeah. Their, theirs were smoking. Was, I mean, and literally. Sam fried his too. Oh, did he? Yeah. I mean, I think that ben that's what benefited me is that I couldn't go any faster than I was. So I couldn't fry anything. But it was getting really hard to turn. I mean, it was that tarmac was just fresh laid asphalt and it just did not those things just did not want to turn. So Yeah, right. All right. So this is interesting. Um let's see if I can maybe do this. This, this is a little bit tall right now. So local maker, I'm not sure if it's going to be something new. Um, if anything, it might be, it, if it does happen, if the racers are similar, they may uh, just be a little bit design tweaks. Uh, Sam made a video when he was here, a couple of them, <laughs> somewhere where if you look in the back when I'm working, things are catching on fire. Um, <laughs> but um there's some tweaks that I like to see done. The like the component bay just needs to be wider on the inside. It's just too crammed. Um, the electronics need to breathe. Um, but also, it just there's not enough room for a bigger, better, bigger, better battery for you know more milliamps. So, right. Yeah, it's uh, a yeah. the 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 group has gained some popularity right now. So yeah. it's uh, on the Facebook group. So but we will be advertising the heck out of it, myself, Sam, and whoever wants to be in it. And sure. there'll be some type of scheduling thing. We don't know if we're going to just do like pull on battle bots, you know, entries, you know, like, or just, or right. just races. I think we should have different types with weapons, real weapons. I like it. So it's, it's called for these M510s. That's what um, I have the here. price point for that laser is around three hundred dollars. But I don't think that's gonna fit. It's up there, Mr. Brian Bynes. These be three Ds in the house. Yep. Mm, I see now. Yeah, so you'll see that the screws go through those, and then you could they kind of locks in the corners. Yeah. And then you could tighten in the screw on the side. Oh, and there's an M520 that goes in next. Got it. Oh, you know what? Oh, yeah, I can still get to the other screws. Good, yep. Because I didn't and tighten That's one thing side. I liked about the design. I was like, oh, it's meant to all be tightened down. Yeah, later. Mm -hmm. Brian's in the house. What's up, man? Maybe. We're, uh, we're, we're building lasers. Stinking lasers, Brian. I'm printing a thing on my bamboo carbon X, the what big receptacle thing. to catch printer poops. Yes, I saw that. Um, someone posted that in the Facebook group, I think. Yeah, I saw it, and it looks so official, that, that yeah. thing. I thought that they were selling it. <laughs> nice. Yeah, I, had, I just filled out my uh, my form or whatever. Yeah, so. yeah I, did, I did as well. Um, that goes over here so this is this is a cool design as it you know kind of sits over the corners it locks in um my gopro would be not crazy yeah i i it locks in after the, you start uh, building it you kind of get into like the engineer's minds mm -hmm. of how they were making it and designing it. and it's like okay i see and then you get into a flow but your yeah. gantry is what's going to be the go. tricky part so what's cool about it, maybe it's not the best because it's going to be hard to see, but this foot locks around the gantries. And then there's one screw that goes in here and another one that goes into here. So this is going to be square. Well, the square is these, you know, printed um, or these parts are right. So you, they just, it's just, uh, maybe if I can do it with one hand, there we go. Clips on like that. So it goes over both. One screw goes in the first hole here. The other one, there'll be a bigger one that goes in the second hole. 
in a second here. And I, I kind of like that. I'm, I'm digging that a lot because it does lock you in. Um, okay, so I'm contemplating a FDM printer. What's the best under 500? Well, oh boy. that is so oh boy. tough now. I mean, it's like, what, it's almost like what features do you want? I mean, yeah. do you want a Cartesian? Do you want, uh, I mean, so there's, Compared to when I got into the space, you know, I have right. the Ender 5 Plus behind me. That's my first printer. and I, Great printer, know, by the way. It is. It, you know, the frame is what sold me on it more than anything. Mm -hmm. And I, I, just, it's, what's that? I loved my uh, Ender 5 when I first got it. And I was the first one out there to show a Ender 5 Pro. And uh, I, was, I had the first one, the first video, and no one believed that it was real. <laughs> um, I did a live stream on it and then I put a video out and I was like, it's real. Well, the thing is, it was a reseller that sent it to me mm -hmm. and they didn't have it on the Creality site yet. <laughs> oh. So nobody believed me. They're like, it's not a thing. I was like, I'm telling you, I have it in front of me. It's a thing. Uh, but it was, it was awesome. I, I absolutely love those machines, the Ender 5s and I got the Ender 5 Plus. Love that machine. Um, mm -hmm. And if you, I mean... Again, a Prusa Mini. It really depends on your build size as well. Yeah, what what and size you look in? That's exactly what I was going to say. First, you need to see if if you're only doing small parts. I mean, my Prusa Mini is the one that I could totally trust. That's the only one that I can re that I trust a remote executed job on. Of all my printers, um, mm. because it just it worked right out of the box the first time and every time. Um, but you know, I'm you know I'm. I'm a fan of the Kaiwu printers myself, mm -hmm. um, but you know I got my Ender Three Pro ish, as I call it, because it no longer <laughs> has a meanwhile power supply in it. But you know, I it depends. Do you want to make a printer how you want it and start with something that's cheap and small, or right. do you want something with out of box and everything that you want on it? So yeah, you, you really got the like tinkerer club, and you got the people that just want everything that yeah. you just buy, right? Mm -hmm. 100% agreed. Um, and if, you know, it's funny. I just realized my Nightbot is completely wrong. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> I, have this, I have it set up for Hot Makes this whole time. And I'm like, Hot Makes, what is it doing? So Hot Makes is our Monday night show on, um, I, I, we have been broadcasting it here as well. And I haven't streamed <laughs> in a minute. So I didn't turn all these, um, you know, all these things here. There I got to figure out something's beeping in my garage randomly. Smoke detector. Uh, mm -hmm. Is any cubic cobra garbage? That's a, I don't have one. I can't tell you that. Um, Sam Neither Prentice has one. I know there's a few of them out there. Okay. Yeah, he's uh, you know he he has actually good videos out on basically all the you know mm -hmm. mini cubics. Yeah. So. Ender three S one price comes down. It was great for a very little to no modding. Yes. Uh, you know what? Ender 3 S1 um, was not a bad machine. I actually have one. I have the S1 Pro, as you've seen on the channel, both of those. And I just got, right before Merv, I just got the Ender 3 S1 Plus. Um, so I, I, I'm going to do a live unboxing of that pretty soon. Um, and then I just got, I just was told that they're sending me, uh, last night, um, Creality reached out and they're sending me the Ender 3 Neo, I think it's called. Something like yeah, that. so basically. I Basically, yeah, the V2, the, the up the Ender 3 V2 new version of that is what they told it's me. That, as far as I know, that's the, it's the new version of the Max, the Ender 3 Max. Um, what the, what they told me last night was it's the new version of the Ender 3 V2. Oh, okay. So, no, the Plus might be the new version of the Max, though. Okay. Um, but we'll, we'll see. We'll, we'll find out. <laughs> so yes it's the yeah i have enrolled in the creality printer of the month club um, <laughs> this is true um i yeah we're talking printers but uh we're rocking and roll through this so i got all the bolts tightened here so the okay. frame is so, I, I would have to say this is solid yeah um, I, it, and it's and it doesn't get much heavier after that after you get the the gantry assembled now this is the part that's gonna be the yeah listen to this and all the belts are pre-tightened except for your 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 gantry belt, so your Y. Can I? Is there eccentric nuts on these? There is. No. So they're 
the way that it works is that it's um it's not eccentric. Is it eccentric in there on the side? Yeah. It no, it, it's a it's a pinch like um I don't even call it a nut. It's like it just it a sheet of yeah, it, it's weird. steel or something that's in there that pushes against it. The frame. So if you need to adjust it, you have to loosen up one of those um, M, you know, M3 bolts on the side and pull on it and then tighten it. So mine came at the right tension. I would worry about it um, mm. after you put your yeah. Y on. Listen, listen to this. Oh, yeah, yeah. I think it needs to be tightened. <laughs> or, I mean, is the belt that loose? There's... Uh... It might be. Uh, you know what? It might be the gear slipping. Okay. I'll tighten. We'll tighten belts when it gets there. Okay. Okay. Um, check. It says check the wheels. Make sure they're good and they're fitting good. Uh, make sure the there is eccentric nuts. Well, at least they're calling them out on here that there's eccentric nuts. Um, yeah. Oh. Oh. Yeah. Okay. Yes. Uh, sorry. On the, on the sides, there are eccentric nuts. Yes. Yes. So. Um. um install the yeah, X yeah. axis next. So we're gonna do that. It looks like my, it says mind the assembly order, dummy. Um, that's what it, that's like the exact words it says to me. Um, yeah, you got you know, two eccentric nuts on both sides on the top. Perfect. That's what I was thinking. Uh, what size is the S1 Plus? I'm not sure. I believe it's three by three by three, like Skydown said. Um, let's see. So. It says, mind the assemble order. Um, what am I supposed to mind? It just says, there's profile aligns with the slots on the left and tensioner on the right. Oh, you got to put the tensioner on it, I'm assuming? Yep. Okay. So here's this. I'm guessing wires go in the back. This is going to sit here. Uh, where's that tensioner? Check. I'm guessing they want me to put a belt on, huh? The instructions could could be a little better. Yep. Whoa. Did you just tip over? Yeah, it's it's my uh, TTS. <laughs> it's my bear always lays by me, and he uh, stretched and said, you know what? I don't want that by me. Yeah, yeah. All right, so it looks like we're going to put... A couple of man, what is happening here? Install the carriage. Uh, these 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 instructions are. It's not it's not fun. So they're it's tough. A, they um, are because it's not even telling me. Unless I'm not that far ahead yet. Yeah, you know what? You got to go further in the book. So it's step three. Um, it says. After assembly of X axis, you know, put this on, right? But then it goes 3.2, install the carriage. So it looks like they're giving you the steps in order if you go further in the book. So <laughs> maybe I'll read um, closer. <laughs> Let us know if you have any questions about this thing. This is the Two Trees um, TTS, right? TTS. TTS 55. 55, yeah. Um, so it's a, it's a 300 by 300 with a 5.5 watt laser diode. It is a yeah. 455 nanometer, which is a standard diode laser. Yeah. And um, there is some confusion on their sites because what they do with some of these manufacturers is they will give you the output of the power supply and say it's yes. a 20 watt output. <laughs> but when yeah. it's actually, you always yeah. want to know the optical out yeah, of yeah. the laser. Astro Printer pointed that out to local maker, I think it was, on there. It's a very confusion, confusing thing. Always look at optical out. Don't ever pay attention to what the power supply says. It's totally a gimmick in the industry. Uh, yeah, it, it definitely confuses a lot of people because you'll be like, yeah, I have a 20 watt laser. <laughs> and and then they'll be like, no, you don't. <laughs> yeah. You have a five watt, you know, a five watt laser. Um, man, don't mind me. I'm just, there we go. Trying to get this on. So you got to put, 
this on the gantry and then the belt around boom there we go check that looks better it's interesting okay, that, are the wires supposed to be facing downward okay so this or is a, another tricky part here jim yeah sorry i turned away from my mic and not wearing my lapel so you want to make sure that your front mm -hmm. is on your gantry you know like um uh was it build dad build he put yeah. his together wrong so okay. so under make sure he had this reversed the gantry so okay you want to make sure that the front is on there let me see what, what do you mean by the front yeah so it's a uh, it looks like let me, let me let me change my yeah it looks like that's the correct way yeah um you'll, so the, your, your wires, the actual wiring wires are face down right now, right? They come out of the bottom. I'm checking. Checking. Yes. So yep. this is what I got. So this is the top with all the, the holes that I saw in the mm -hmm. instructions. This is your screw knob here. Yep. Um, belt goes around. Wires come out the bottom. Yep. Boom. So Boom. if this is, this is kind of a, a more lengthy build than I thought, like you said. Um, just because I think a lot of these lasers in this class are not so much anymore, you know? Yeah, this is, uh, but, yeah, I was not expecting that um, extensive of a build myself either. There we go. But I mean, once you get it together, it's, it's very solid and again, it's very light. Yeah, it is so far. Like it's both of those things. Uh, okay. So I got that on there. Check. Got that around there. Check. Um, then I'm going to put, it looks like a tensioner on with an M four by 16 bolt, um, with the tensioner internals. So yeah, one, Andrew, it's right. You know, he says a thousand watt with a focal length of 0. 0.2, meaning the actual 10 watt. Yeah. Yeah. yeah it's a. It's a uh, Adam Stack um, and other companies. I, um, who was the other one? I called them out on it. Um, they didn't like it very much. So no. <laughs> what? I, um, that but, can't be it. No. M4. M4 16. All right, where are you? Because yeah, uh, my uh, lasers are hanging on my slat wall behind me right there. Oh, I see. This is the internal parts. So you have to actually take off. Oh, yeah, because it's already looped. So yeah. I have to take off this pulley here. If you can see that. There's a pulley in this tensioner. You got to take that out. <laughs> That's um, interesting as well. Yeah, they they tell you to take away, uh, take apart the pulley because you have to to get the belt yeah. around it. Um, yeah, I just was looking for a screw and stuff, and I'm like, wait a minute, that, that's not right. And it looks like the tensioner goes on uh, the right um, this yeah, side, the right, right side. side. Yep, yep, the right side. So then I'm gonna put. Um, you no. Know, I'm going to let you guys watch me struggle through this here. Let's go here. <laughs> struggle is real. Why not? Um, so here's your belt. Just trying to rest it on here, but it keeps falling. Here's the, te the tensioner pulley. If you can see it in there. Um, so there's that. And then this piece needs to go back over the pulley. And then there's another screw here that has to go back in this to hold the pulley in place and then your belt is on that tensioner so i mean i get i get what they're doing here and the tensioner is nice to have um and i i don't know if it would have been easier just to put the this part on this already or not but yeah it's uh it's just extra steps but the nice thing is just like the original ender 3 you'll know this laser when you're done because you put it all together <laughs> Yeah, uh, the six lasers I have, um, two, uh, three of them, half of them have a use a um, 
a T nut to hold okay. it down instead of, and then you you pull, you pull it, and then you use a T nut to fasten it down. Uh, uh, I I've done three scratch build lasers. This is Andrew S engravers, and the dials I bought were cheap garbage <laughs> and burnt out within months. But they are easily to build when you got more spares than you know what to do with. Yep. Yeah. 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 Uh, Sky down. How easy is the software to use from these light burn? It was amazing to see in action. Yes, light burn. If you, the way I kind of like look at light burn, it's got that. If you're familiar, like with Windows, even Mac, right? I'm more of a Windows guy, but it's got the interface where you start navigating, you can almost figure it out on your own. Um, and there's it's a matter ton. of learning your speed and power. Yeah, and there's a lot of videos out there too. I swear this is how this goes in here, but this is, uh, I'm trying to put the pulley back in the freaking, um, maybe I'm upside down. Let's see. Yeah. So you're going to be, when you put that in, you're going to have to send in the two screws in through the extrusion. Let's see. Let's see. So it goes like this. <laughs> So I got to put this thing on right. Maybe that's the problem. Let's see. So it goes like that. This needs to go on like this. Mm -hmm. I think. And maybe. Come on. You weren't All joking. Right, so you're so, um... What's you're up? You have, have sides that have indents on it. Okay. Those... Mm -hmm. Those go, um, that's not, that's going to be your, uh, how can I say it? They're, okay, see how that I one, that one has, it. yeah, that has to, your screw holes go on to the top. Wait, my what? My screw holes go onto the top. The tracks go in the tracks, right? Yeah. Here. Is that what you're saying? You can take a look right here. And your is that the silver? Uh oh, you know what? I bet my pulley's on backwards. Okay, maybe. I don't know if it matters or not, really. But um, no, it doesn't look like you do because that that nut that um, pulley on the other end has to grab that threaded insert. Right. It's right there. So. So this needs to slide into this. Yep, and that's your end. Yep. And maybe it needs to go in like that. Because on yours, you had that. There's a threaded, um, a threaded piece that's sticking up through this window. Yeah. Um, what in the? So you can see, see right it, there. I see tracks. It's supposed. Looks like it's supposed to just slide into there. It does. It would slide right in. I mean, it's it's this is the part that literally takes the longest is what you're doing right now. Yeah, I can see why. It's kind of a pain in the. Yeah, because the other side, you just fish the belt through the onto the pulley of the stepper. Yeah, it, it literally is. Tr it's like freaking tracks. But now I think I have it upside down because that bolt is sticking up too far to go in there. Reject that. That's all the way in. So then I need to spin this thing like this, maybe. Yeah. Okay. So on your top here, um, make uh, my screen bigger. And I'll switch to my document camera here. All right. Give me one second here. All right. Let's see. Can I do that? Solo. Okay. Check. Okay, so you see that you have the hold on. Um so that brass fitting right here. Yeah. I think that's another screw hole, is it? No. Yeah, it looks like it is, but, but yeah, it's not yeah. used for anything. But uh anyway. Yeah, so um you'll see that the sides, we turn it around, you got that opening right here, right? So that's the, your that's behind, right? That's the back of it. 
Mm -hmm. And then you have your two screws mm -hmm. that hold it on. That go up. So it goes in like this. Yeah, you know what? I think my I think I put this um pulley upside down. Because your your my brass is facing down right now. Yeah. That brass screw thing. Mm -hmm. So I'll fix that real quick. And we'll keep you soloed for a second because my hands are okay. Yeah. I'll give you a tour. And here's sure. my lasers right here. Do it. I have them hanging up on my slat wall. Um, and then I sneak peek. You didn't see that, but I think, well, it's already been released. So I, now I could actually start <laughs> telling people about it. It's the Ender 5 right. Plus, FL, FL Sun, SR, Prusa Mini back there, all my RC car collection, and the, even more. The rest of the garage is looking like garbage right now because Dar's getting ready for a graduation party next week. So yeah. I'm getting a lot of stuff thrown in here, which is not fun. And this light needs to be turned off. There we go. All right. But uh, so, got it. That's what it was. It? I had my my pulley was backwards. Oops, wrong one. There we go. Yeah, it's uh, lasers are fun, but as we said, it's uh, I think they need to start changing it around a little bit. Now, this two trees is actually a, a nice little laser. Mm -hmm. It's different, and so that's so actually what made me do it the review because it's different than the other ones. Yeah, so far, it, I mean, it, it, it's so far it's pretty, um, so far it's pretty cool. A lot more install than I thought it was going to be. Two M four by twenty. That's what I was looking for. Um, definitely a little more of an install than I thought it was going to be, and that's okay. I mean, again, it gets you, it gets you to learn it. Um, you know, it's not <laughs> unless you're really interested in this laser. It's not for great. <laughs> TV, I guess you could say, but hey, um, I'm okay with that. It's it's fun. It's different. Um, okay, so I um, Opper 8R. Um, let me show you a section of the garage that's still being worked on. Over here, that is my, um, you're asking about CNC. That is going to be my um, plasma CNC area. I already have a plasma CNC and a plasma cutter. I'm just needing to get the wiring complete with another 240 drop over there because I already have one where I'm sitting. Um, nice. And I got a new silent air compressor over there, 20 nice. gallon. Yeah, it's gonna it's gonna be decent. So I uh, I'm, I'm pumped. I'll have to come down and check that out. I now that I know you're closer than me than than I thought. I I don't know why I was thinking you were in Michigan. This whole nah, time. No, no, I'm in Illinois, the land of rust and corruption. So, <laughs> yeah. So now what we're going to do is take this belt and go around underneath and around that pulley, um, essentially, and then we're we, you know we're going to get these. Yeah. After that, you're in your home stretch of um, the biggest problem right there is the flopping, as you see. Of yeah, it's it's pretty difficult. <laughs> Yeah, I um what's hard is that I'm ignoring the camera right now because it's easier to ignore the camera when I'm doing this. But uh what's hard is when you're trying to film it. <laughs> no. And and you're because right now like I'm I'm trying to film this and 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 it's just there we go. I gave yeah, so I when I did this, you no know, after I I took out and I read the manual a little bit. Mm -hmm. I um built it and time lapse my build on my video and i actually said in my review that go to their site because yeah. otherwise my video would be 40 minutes long right uh going through all the separate steps their build video i think is like 14 minutes or something like that and they right. do a really good job of showing how to build it yeah um, they should yeah. they there we go they nice. make it so. got it nailed it so Nailed it. I just had to get, there's a belt in here and it's hard to show you. There's a belt in here that has to go around a gear in there and then it has to go on, you know, all this will have to go, you know, dial in itself here now to these uh -oh. gantries. Yeah. Um, yeah. For Andrew, for me, for the, for upper eight, mine is just, I don't have a CNC. 
I kind of stepped away from that. I wanted to have three things in my garage, 3D printer, CNC machine, and a um, some type of big laser engraver or CO2. I was thinking like an OMTech or something. And I nice. kind of went away from that big laser because they're so big and noisy. Um, right. And so I decided to go smaller with the, uh, with the plasma cutter. Um, so these next ones go up from the bottom, it looks like. Yeah, so you're going to have these really long screws yeah. with inserts. I'll show you what they look like, yeah. So I have a 50-watt. Uh, oh, thank you, Paul, for the super sticker, $10. Thank you so much, Paul. I appreciate that. Thank you, thank you, thank you. So here's the, it's it's a big bolt with an insert. Um, it looks like there's three of them, but there's going to be one on this side and two on this side, if I see this right. Um, I believe, maybe. Yeah, um, that's going to lock your, your Y in place. Yeah. It's going to lock my Y. And there's only, oh yeah, there's only a one on this side and two on that side. And these are going to come up from the bottom. So maybe. <laughs> yeah. So, yeah, those uh, do this. those inserts are, are stoppers so that he can only screw them in so far. Got it. What I'm trying to do is kind of give an idea of where these things are going. And <laughs> Brian Vines, that looks somewhat standoffish. Yes, it does. Huh. Water um, Dunk Oreo Fund is filling up, Andrew S. Yes. Yeah, I got I got a good collection of Oreos when I was at Murph, and I appreciate that, everybody. Um, I got a whole bag, I believe. I believe uh, Local Maker Michigan, or was it Dan Adams? I can't remember. All of a sudden, it's, it's eluding me. Let me know if you're in the chat. Um, it might have been Dan Adams. But they gave me a, a whole bag of Oreos, and then Caleb's dad... Gave me that uh, Murph kit. It's a little Oreo, um, a cup, and, and some water. It was pretty funny. Um, so. Upper 8R. Um, I have a CNC for wood. Would love to have a plasma or a water jet. Just don't have the budget for it. So I used to watch a, right. something here in the States that was called <laughs> American Chopper. And that was yeah. the first time I ever saw a water jet table. And this was like, what, 15 years yeah. ago? I was, I was amazed at it. But that's definitely something the hobbyists is still out of price. You see? No one's made a budget one. They, wow. Actually, I, I just saw one. Well, budget's subjective. Um, <laughs> yeah, yeah. <laughs> but I just saw one. Um, it's, a, it's a desktop water jet. It was like 10 grand. But. It was desktop. That's nice. Um, again, it was ten grand, yeah. but <laughs> hopefully these are aligned. Uh, yeah, I, I my plasma is a um, prime weld uh, plasma. That's um, I need to do a video on that. I'm far behind on that. Um, then I have you know I sourced my own. Um, it's called an Arctroid um, CNC plasma machine. It's it's as portable as you can get. It does 22 inch by 16 inch cuts, and you can move it along your piece to make more cuts if you need to. But uh, it does. It has something that's called simple trace. Like me, I'm not the best at fusion yet. So say that, and a lot of hardcore fabricators will take like cardboard and make their own templates. Right. So, and you know they're used to doing stuff like that, like um, just be really hands on. Well, you can take that cardboard template and actually trace it with okay. their probe and it's it automatically generates the g-code nice so john uh, you say it funny i read it operate it. okay all right we are oh okay yes operator okay well also <laughs> i got dyslexia don't tell everyone. So <laughs> that's why you, you hear why um, I always dreaded in school of doing public speaking. And I would memorize my speech because I uh, I hated reading out loud in class. <laughs> hey, that's okay. But no, that's we all have. As I say to other people, that we all have some type of um, ailment that we have to get around. Some yeah. some people are more permanent than others. <laughs> so, and and plus, I have. 
ADHD too. So, but I'm in IT. I think that's most people that are in IT have it. So. <laughs> All right. <coughs> Excuse me. Well, hey everybody. I just want to say thank you for being here. We are rocking through this. Um, I've been here a little over an hour now, but uh, you're doing good. To, talking to John, you are doing really uh, good. Tripods on Garage here, and we are just getting this thing installed um, slowly but surely. Uh, I'm going to raise this thing up though and install this on the sides, I believe. Um, I think that's how it goes on there, right? Yeah, looks like that. Um, but yeah, it's uh, I, I'm a terrible speller as well, by the way. Um, but it, it's been a lot of fun so far. This thing is is I'm gonna say so far it's it's nice. It's a little super light. Um, it, I feel like I could pick this up and take it with me and, and not worry about it going out of uh, square. And I'll check. I can check this. Do I have my square with me? Ooh, I might not have my square with me over here. But um, I mean, the bottom line is some of these bigger lasers if you pick them up they don't feel exactly <laughs> you, you feel like they could move a little we'll say that um yeah. and that happens sometimes but uh yeah, see, see. um sorry yeah 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 <laughs> yeah um i don't even know if i ever hey john the second one john what's um uh... yeah um <laughs> brian's with us and he's hanging so uh let me know in the chat. I'm going to go off off topic just a, just a hair, but if you ordered one of the Bamboo Lab X1 or X1 Carbons, let me know in the chat. I'm, I'm excited to see. Um, if you were at Murph and you came by and saw the one I brought live, let me know. Um, I know John did. He was, you know, they were they were having some fun with it. Too bad you didn't get to do what you were thinking about doing. That would have been a lot of fun. Oh yeah, I was like, I, I we bought the popcorn. I told the wife, she's like. You don't really eat microwave popcorn anymore. Uh, so I popped it at the hotel, and I, was all, I, had, I brought it with. I had so it already, good. and then Sam disappeared. He was doing his own thing, and we never got around to doing it. Dang so. it! No, I it would have been awesome. We had a uh, lot of fun there. I am. I am just. I'm grateful you guys didn't come home with um, anything extra like I did. Well, yeah, and that's the thing yeah. is, I don't know if having it. You know, I mean, we had it six months prior so we didn't right. i didn't you don't know with this unfortunately how long your yeah. immunity lasts if it does right so so the next thing we need to do is put the laser head on here um I can give you a little better view that way and it's held on by four uh screws two on each side so i'm just going to work on that real quick while we're talking but um maybe if i can there we go but yeah, I mean, you're right. You just never know. And I, this was the first time for me, uh, first time that I, I got it. I work at a hospital, so, you know, I, I was surprised that it took two years, to be fair. Um, I can tell you my wife wasn't excited about me bringing it home. <laughs> I, uh, I don't see how she... <laughs> she was <laughs> less than excited, especially when the little guy got it and then she got it. Um you know, or, or the symptoms and stuff. Um, she was definitely less than excited, you know, that that happened. So I'm going to put all four of these. Uh, no, the first. crack donuts. Yes. Oh I was, so yeah, Jim, for the assistance of, um, yes, uh, with the Murph racer, you know, we went out for wings when the, that, um, was that, uh, Friday night. Right. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. And, um, so that morning, you know, you treat us to the wings, which thank you, Jim. Hey, no so, problem. And um, and he's like going every bringing the Amish crack donuts. Now I called crack donuts, but he gave us six, and I'm like there's no. So I tried one after like an hour or two because going to breakfast with Sam Prentice is a um, another experience in its own. So maybe <laughs> you could bring this up on uh, Monday. Ask him what his favorite <laughs> breakfast is. Oh, it's so. <laughs> <laughs> so he loves knows. these big pancakes. Yeah. So I was full for, I mean, literally until like two o'clock. And so I said, okay, I'm going to try one of these donuts. And oh my goodness. If you ever taste, if you're here in the States, donuts here are usually just dry. It doesn't matter what's in it and stuff. You, I did not expect this Amish donut to taste like this. So that's when I did, if you go on my TikTok, I did a, um, 
I got Joseph Prusa, Sam, and mm -hmm. and Joel. Joel, yeah. He's seeing it all for the first time. And yeah. they were like amazing. <laughs> yeah. So uh they are real good. Um I own two X1s, Andrew S says. Oh, nice. Two. Oh, you order did you order two or do you get them already? Um, I'm, I'm assuming you ordered two, but John, uh, my Murph racer is coming along. Just got to get the electronics good together this weekend. I, did I see John's making a like a, a half scale one? Uh, I Isn't think he's, if he John wanted is, to. Aren't you making a tiny one? I think he's making a tiny one. All right. Laser head is on. Um, What's yeah, what's nice about that laser is it actually has a thumb screw on the top, which most should learn from. To adjust the height. Yeah, I like that. Um, a lot of the aftermarket ones came with that. I knew the Ortur Laser Master 2 Pro, you could get so that. So, John is making a half scale also. Um, yes. BW's uh, electronics, he said that the donut holes melt in your mouth. Yeah. So, I have to try that next year. So, yes. uh, the wife and I actually booked the room for next year if Murph, because when we noticed that Murph was. Um, the last weekend of uh, June, yeah. the last two yeah. years. So we're, we mm -hmm. uh, actually booked the hotel room just now. And so refundable just in case. So. Right. They, they commented on somebody's post when they said it was a wrap and all that. They did comment and say um, about the same dates next year. Say, check out those dates. Yeah. So they didn't, they didn't hundred percent, but I mean, to be fair, they don't exactly have great communication, but <laughs> no. But uh, uh, we're thinking about being a sponsor, also to be on the back of the shirts and stuff. Yeah, we I'm we totally forgot about it this year, and it was too late when we did think about it. So, so. Uh, I'm going to go ahead and assume that this little. Let's see if I can give you a better view. Boop. So these are cable. The little cable um, holders. Yeah, there's, yeah. There's two hold. of them. Yeah. One is going to go on one side like this, and the other one, I think this one is going to actually sit maybe like this. Or Okay, so no, so the small one goes on the front of the machine, very front, and that one goes on. And so that, turn it the other way. That faces you. Yep, like that. We'll turn it. Wait, turn it again. Flip it. Yep, just like that. Okay. And that's that holds um, two sets of wire looms. And so, place. so this is the opening here. Yep, and it's going to stay open, and you're going to just use the gotcha. uh, tie wraps in it. Four by twenties, four by twenties. That's these guys. Got it. So the opening faces the front of the machine. Yep. All right. Mm -hmm. So what we got here? Uh, and nice. I should be getting them set. Um, so you were right that he he's. Doing the half scale one, nice. Um, Murph, uh, let's see, Andrew, um, nice. Andrew S. I should be getting them set to me. Hopefully, haven't got to them yet. Yeah, um, they if it was any review units, they're super, um, they're behind on. They only had maybe like 30 or 40 or something, I can't remember how many. Yeah, you're right talking about there. the carbon, mm -hmm. and, and I, I had to say. That marketing push, you know, kind of spoke for itself on it because it was something yeah. that no one's seen before, and for the price point that they were doing, right? It's a lot of machine for the price. And people ask me, John, you have thirteen three D printers. You actually bought that one? I said, yeah. Heck yeah. I said it's my garage is not heated or cooled in the winter. So what I do, or in the summer, right? So what I do is that's my four year door over there on the floor. I have a fan blowing in here from the vent okay. so because it's illegal to run hvac into the garage so oh, if really it, yeah be, if it's attached because it makes sense people have running their cars in here oh they got go it in, they go back in yeah the you house. can't you don't want a cold air return in a in yeah, the garage yeah. there is what you're saying so and you know we don't use the garage uh, garage is my um my workshop so but if I, you know, when we do sell in five, six years, we would have to rip it out anyways. Yeah. So you don't want to do like a mini split or a. Well, yeah, I was thinking about a mini split, but 
you know, with the way that the you know electric prices here in Illinois have skyrocketed, I'm sure like the rest right. of the country. I think they're everywhere. It's yeah, right now it's so that that carbon had like hit every checkbox. I almost sound yeah. like a reviewer right now of what I want in the 3D printer. I wasn't going to buy another one. I don't have the need for it because I'm actually doing a shift into lasers and plasmas. Do you notice this part is not injection molded? That is printed. That's their only printed part. That's printed, yeah. I was looking. I was like, wait a minute. Um, yeah, you're right. I, I, I bought. I also put my money where my mouth is and picked one up, as everybody who watched my channel knows. Um, I, I'm telling you, uh i don't know it, it's i like the printer but if ryan is still with us he's here we we talked about that printer literally 90 percent of murph <laughs> it was well, it was by you the whole time i i, I can see the excitement in everyone for for, yeah. for it because it's something that's again different uh yep. it, it, someone mentioned it on twitter saying that you know this is all proprietary and blah 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 i'm yeah. like and I said, you know how much stuff that we buy? Just picture your car alone. How many proprietary parts there are just maybe shared between maybe three or four models within that same. You can't take that part off of a Ford and put it on a Chevy. Right. So, I mean, it's you have proprietary parts all over the place. And yep. if this printer, go, I mean, for how many it sold, there's going to be an aftermarket community for it. Guaranteed. Yeah. I mean, you're already seeing the poop bucket out yeah. there. Um, I want to make a slide. Someone at someone at um, someone at Murph suggested a slide. Like, you know, oh, that'd be fun. That would be pretty cool. Um, yeah. I, I, you start in the back and go around the front. Um, that would be a lot of fun. Hang on, real quick here. Yeah, and that's the thing that uh, Andrew. Uh, wait, who's it? Um, uh, Sky down. At least the X one yeah. has raised the bar for the rest of the industry. Ab absolutely. absolutely. And yeah. what I did was I said that, you know what, we buy, we buy lots of things that have proprietary parts in it. If, yeah, it could be open source, but then you have just a standard Cartesian printer. I mean, it's yep. honestly, that's where you, you would be. Have, you would have an under under three. Yeah. To be fair. And so right I mean, now I'm just putting the control box on so everybody can. Yeah, he's, um, Jim that. is actually at kind of the final stages of wiring, plugging, and cable organizing. Yep. So I would say that he's got, uh, if he, might be finished this, within this the next been, 20 This minutes. could have been done a half hour ago if I wasn't talking. Yeah. Whoa. All right. Andrew Rogers has become a member. Thank, thank you, you so much, Andrew. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. And Andrew Rogers, you are awesome. A member for 14 months. Thank you so much, Andrew Rogers. Um, yeah, I, I agree. It's it's changing. It, it is, it's going to change. I'm, I'm super excited on how it's going to change or hopefully change the industry. Um, ow, <laughs> that was awesome. Um, so, so I, found, I, I, mean, I, I unboxed um, another printer the other night and it's <laughs> one I forgot. It's the, it, it was the, uh, what the heck was it? Super racer. Yeah. Oh, you, oh racer. you got one too. <laughs> and <laughs> they just sent, I thought it was going to be the 400. Oh, and apparently oh. I look back at my email and they're like, oh, yeah, the first run we just we ran out, but we're do this one first and then we'll send you the 400 later. Ah. I'm like, because I unboxed it, I, I, I was like doing a time lapse of me building it. I'm like, this does not look like I thought it was going to be. It doesn't have the big screen. Then I was like, oh, you know what? Let me go look at my email. I definitely screwed that up. But you know what sucked about that thing? The freaking needle, excuse my language, didn't have a cover on it. And it was oh. in the it was in the stupid bag with the zip ties. The zip ties made me think of it. So I went to grab a zip tie and it stuck right in the end of my thumb. And I was oh light speeds here. Very mad about that. <laughs> the problem with bamboo is based off open, open source ideas. They didn't invent anything. They they compiled community ideas, so it's being ah. locked down and kind of not good. Well, yeah. That, so but they but they already addressed that. Well, they uh, did. They're, they're, yeah, he. Uh, Whatever you want to call him, Doctor Turbo. He, that's what he goes by on socials. The the CEO, uh, Andrew Rogers. Thank you so much. Nine ninety nine. I didn't have a, a, a chance to buy an adult bed verge at Murph. I appreciate that. Um, they addressed all of these stuff that they're keeping proprietary, patent, or open source. 
and he did a full blog post on that. And uh, one thing I do appreciate about them is they're they're very open. They are very open about like responding and telling you what's up. Um, thank you so much once again, Andrew Rogers. Ten nine ninety nine. Thank you so much. All right, we're almost done here, guys. We are almost done. Install the bellows. They're calling them bellows. Yeah. What the hell's a bellows? So, you know, these are like just the standard wiring. Um, so they're what they – so what Two Trees is attempting to do is cable organization where the wires do not fall into the engraving area. Right. Okay. I've reviewed a half dozen plus of these open – diode machines and yeah. the, one of the biggest problems is is cable management and there's always right. that loom going from traveling down to x through to y that that one loom will fall into the laser engraving area so this is why you will see on this machine that they kind of do this rainbow thing yes it's full of rainbows and unicorns <laughs> you just didn't know it because, so yeah. It's uh, they, to lift it up over your build surface. Mm -hmm. I was feeling, uh, I was feeling let out the slight speed, but now I'm glad uh, I didn't buy one. I wanted to be able to fix my printers. LOL. Yeah, it's it. You know, if you ever watch the guy, right to repair, right? Yeah, yeah. So yeah, and it's um, I that kind of okay. yeah, I think that. Uh, it will change, but I, I think, again. I th yeah, I mean, we'll see how it goes. I think this is a test. This is a uh, test of the emergency broadcasting system. No, uh, you know, I think this is a good test of what could come forward and, and it's going to cause other manufacturers to be better. And um, hopefully you better, you better give light speed a hug, Jim, because Jim, uh, Jim didn't say hi to me. It feels like Murph all over again. I'm so what do you mean? I said hi to you. Yeah. <laughs> I said hi to you like a couple times. Yeah. I, uh, I apologize. Yeah. I'm, he's I'm, a very I'm, emotional guy. I'm okay. deep into this build trying to uh, get this done so we can burn some crap and not spend six hours here. Um, as Tripod graciously told me before this, this started, this was a longer build, and I did not expect it to be this much longer. Um, <laughs> I hate you. Yeah, right. Get out of here, Steven. Um, <laughs> I am frustrated because I forgot to pick up a Foron kit. And then I ran over to LDO's, uh, and they were or LDO and Jason was already gone because I know he had. I think he had a bigger kit with him. It was under his table, and I was going to snag it. Um, highly, highly considered snagging that, and then I screwed up. And then I totally forgot to go back. But I have, I have the guy's name that you were there with for Mandela. And yeah, that, um, that, that's probably where I were going to buy from. It's uh, from yeah, my, my, it looked I, it looked pretty solid. And my wife comes to me. She's like, I found a printer I want. I said, uh -oh. oh, that you want. Uh -oh. And I said, I, I said, I have a feeling which one it is. And I said, just point to the area. And she's like, so you want a, a Voron? She's like, what? I said, the real small tabletop one, right? She's like, yeah. yeah. So I went on my desk. Yeah. It's it's cool. It's it's very cute. Um, it, it's going to take some time to build and all that, which was yeah. cool. But you get the whole kit. Um, and, and from so what all these Steve, wires, yeah, yeah. So this is your, um, the wiring, uh, madness. See if I can give you a better yeah. thing. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. You're, um, you're at the tail end of it. So all these wires, they kind of curl in like this. Yep. Okay. So what I did was I, I kind of like plugged in everything first and then I, uh, um, I guess or do that. I sent, okay, so what I did was I sent the cable ties through loosely to keep those kind of standing yeah, up. Good idea. And then good I plugged out everything, and then I tightened them down. It's really fun to build. I'm going to check that out. So I did see there was a dude, I think it was a dude there building one Saturday. He started Saturday, and by the time they shut the lights off on us, they got it to home, I believe. Andrew um, Rogers, thanks for stopping by. Have a good night. Yes, thank you so much, Andrew. I appreciate that. It was, again, great to see you. Uh, and and thank you so much for everything, man. Yeah, it's a... Uh, um, and I think his... 
that kit comes with everything. Do you have to print out anything, Steve? Um, yeah, I, I think it's not, it does not come with the printed parts. Okay. But I could probably print those in like a day. On, the, on your bamboo? Uh, yeah, on on with, three of them. With uh, under extrusion? Then we're going to have three of them. Hey, you leave my under extrusion <laughs> out of this. <laughs> No, I, um, the interesting thing about that is, uh, I think that it's, it's just a slicer issue to be fair. Well, I think, it, yeah, also with the, how fast it was going to, yeah. um, when I saw yeah. the parts that you gave me and I kind of like, Ooh, I know what I'm aiming for with my slow bracer right to the yeah. side. <laughs> yeah. 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 Um, I think it's going to go on like that. Right. Let's see. It, it says all of these get squished in here. Yeah. Even the ones that go down. It's super weird. But hey, we'll we'll do it because these are going to go yeah, down. Yeah, it's kind of a mad mess right there. Um, inside. Yeah. Um, well, I'll I'm going to just do what you said. I'm actually going to get this started, so it kind of holds it together. I keep hearing music that's not on the stream, and I re just remembered that I'm I had my little guy's camera in his room. No. Oh on and he has music on in his room um and i had that on so i could watch him when he fell asleep <laughs> just to make sure he wasn't like freaking out and you know I, I, mom's home but um i always feel bad you know yeah hey hey speed don't feel too bad i was actually in in um edge of tech territory yeah over the weekend and i didn't get visited so yeah well somebody had covid so there's that. Hey, I mean, you are I not think, just anymore. Yeah, I was past five days, but that, you know, it, well, that what really happened, um, to be 100% fair, is my wife and kid got it, and my wife was taking it a little different than I was. Um, hers, hers has been different, symptoms-wise, and I think that works. And uh, she she's had a headache for, like, three days now. <laughs> Actually, yeah, I am. Um, it finally went away, but. I had no appetite right. for almost a month. Um, like, it that just, helped. yeah, it was, it was like I said, mine was like a bad flu. <laughs> All right. But yeah, um, uh, Light, what is Lightspeed saying? I said hi. I talked to you, Ed Murph. Mo probably yeah. more than I talked to a lot of people. I talked to a lot of people, but I didn't talk to a lot of people long. Um, All right. Now we need to plug everything in, right? Yep. You're on the home stretch. <sighs> All right. So, this looks like it's going to come around and go into here. <laughs> We're just going to pretend I know what I'm talking about. And no. I, uh, I'm, I'm pumped. I might check out that. Um, hopefully my mic isn't weird. I just realized I put my face into it. I might check out that kit though. Cause I, I, I do kind of want to build one. Um, how yeah, it, you? it's basically mine will have to be like at the beginning of next year. I um, mean, that's how far I'm backlogged. I oh. still also I have to pull the cars in and um, take care of body work on the cars because the mm. land of rust, um, the truck is starting to rust underneath. So I need, and that's also why I got the new air compressor to do uh -huh. all the body work in here. Got it. So Same. here's a question. Okay, I see that okay. one. Let me see. See, X so that, that, that jumps over to the laser side, your laser head. Y1? Oh, this one does? I believe yeah. so. Yeah, this one does. Um, I'm assuming it goes like this and then plugs in here. Yep. But there's... Uh, there is one... Okay, so you have two this cables one. that are going to come over to the side to your stepper motors. Mm -hmm. You got your Y and your X. And then you have on the other side, you have your other X motor. Hang on. Where the heck is... Yeah, this one goes down to X. Yep. Um, and that's behind here somewhere underneath. John Strand, Edutech, how's your garage coming along? Garage is doesn't exist. Well, no, my garage exists, uh, but the but I'm actually over here in a, if, a different studio now. So there's that. Um, so while the garage is doing good, um, 
it's pretty much just going back to a garage. So this is Y. Okay, so this is Y1 here. This one needs to be up here on Y. And then X here, I need to take out of the... Um, damn it. I got it zip tied in. It needs to go underneath. Darn it. I don't think I can get that out of there either. Oh, BWs, it seems like mine has gone through phases like fatigue, mucus, where mm -hmm. what stayed around, it's getting better though. Yeah, it was. Um, my, my So I'm the one legged guy. The wife is laying in bed. I'm like, you need to get your ass up. You know, I, I could not, I just can't stay in bed. You know, right. it, it drives me nuts. And uh, I have to be doing something. And I was doing this, the slat wall in the garage when that happened and I'm just staring at the slat wall. I'm like, I had no energy. Yep. And then I was like, and I just didn't want to do anything. <laughs> you know, it, it, it drains you. It, it when, does. when you're actually, you know, um, not a systematic, right. Or whatever they call right, it. Right. So, and it, finally I just got into the rhythm of doing something. And then it was like, I think that helped my mentality with it you know, getting yeah. through, but, um, yeah, yeah definitely. Cool. I, when I came back, uh, when I found out Monday, Tuesday, I was like, you know what? Uh, I'm going to get stuff done. It's not that mm -hmm. bad. <laughs> I went out and did the lawn, um, and stuff like that. And then, uh, I regretted that Tuesday afternoon. Um, by Tuesday afternoon, I was like, wow, I am on my butt again because, I was just completely drained. Um, and then, you know, I, I'm kind of like you where I just wanted to get up and move. And I feel, I felt like if I just kept moving, it was kicking my butt and mm -hmm. I've been overheating a lot. If you remember, like, what was it? Saturday night? I think it was Saturday night when we all went to wings. Yeah. Or was that Friday night? Hell, I can't remember. No, no, it's Friday night. Wait, um, Saturday, that was, that was Friday night. Yeah, I think you're right. Whatever, whatever I was like super hot and, <laughs> and Sam was like, are you okay? <laughs> you know? And, um, I was definitely, definitely like very warm and I'm just want to look at how this cable goes. Okay. Um, but I, that like stuck with me. So I've been like overheating almost you know it's it's i've been getting very hot with this of course you know i'm a bigger guy and that happens anyway but <laughs> yeah um right. operator speaking of cars what's the any new updates on the deadbolt course what's that oh yeah yeah i forgot um no new updates there i've got more done on it but nothing 3d printed or anything like that um, I, I was building a micro crawler course. I that's what I thought it was. Micro crawlers, yeah, little SCX24 micro crawlers. That, that, that's been coming very popular. Those They're awesome, little, man. Yeah, I mean, I got the um, TL Toys brushless. Okay. Um, yeah. That, I don't know, the 14th blah, 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 you know, brushless $119 car. I You know, I ordered it off of Banggood. And I was like, oh, I'm going to do a YouTube video on it. And, of course, you know, by the time I got it, it was four months late. So I'm like, now it's oh. just been sitting in a box. Yeah. I, um, uh, I love my SCX24. It, there's so many mods, upgrades, and everything for those. Um, it is – it's crazy. I actually <laughs> – funny that you say that. I put um, a full brushless system in it, <laughs> a Komodo system um, from Fear Attack. And I could – I mean, I could just barely make it move. It crawls so slow if I wanted to. <laughs> it's not fast because it's not meant to be fast. It's a crawler. Yeah. But, um, no. Uh -oh. Well, we're an off-road family, so we get muddy and dirty. So we, we're familiar with that stuff. Um, uh, John Strand left uh, 1135, past his bedtime. Good night. Happy printing, lasering, seeing, seeing. Uh, Jay, it would be awesome if they did a stream like this, taking a beginner through a setup. Be be it the same laser and or a 3d printer um i do when typically if um you know i had to keep it on the dl for what i was working on but 
typically like on Twitch, I go through that whatever I'm going to review. If it's not um, signing an NDA, <laughs> I will mm -hmm. actually, that's what I do on Twitch. I just do what I'm working on. And like uh, for a while I was doing um, like the Mystic Carve M1 or uh, Fiber Laser, just engraving oh. stuff and showing people how to use it. Dude, and then all of a sudden I, now I'm repairing all their lasers, so. Right tightening a belt here oh yeah don't forget to uh do your eccentric nuts there's two on each side above your um your x's oh here yep yeah two on the, on the inners this is a loud machine by the way yeah it's, why is, um, where does this thing go this can't what? be right I don't see what this thing is. Um, maybe it goes underneath. It's this uh, black connector. So the black connectors that go together. One goes oh, underneath. Um, there is. Maybe it does. Maybe it just chills over here. I'll let it just chill over there. <laughs> yeah, I, I actually wired it to that loom. So I have it just tie wrapped in place right there. Nice. Um, we could definitely we could definitely do. Um, that would be a lot of fun to get a few of us together and just do like a big fun stream on anything beginners. Uh, my tw Twitch channel is the same across the board for everything. It's just tripods garage, one uh, one word mostly. <laughs> one word mostly um, yeah well it depends right so youtube is spaced out um when you search for it but if you put it in the address bar it's one word you know for um twitch got it yeah so that's why i say mostly <laughs> so yeah it's like the same one thing with twitter right it's just all together tree pods garage yes so steven lightspeed's wife when i met her last year yeah she did not know that people were calling me tripod. She thought people were calling me tree pod. Like, <laughs> why? Well, that's a really weird name. Why is tree pod? That's so. pretty funny. She's good stuff. I met her last oh, she's, year as well. She's amazing. Um, yeah, Steve. Very nice. People don't get his dry humor, on, and I do. Do you so. hear this? Listen. You still hear? Yeah, something. That. Mine does not make that noise at all. Are you sure it's not? <laughs> the worst part is that I had to explain to how a guy with one leg is called tripod. <laughs> <laughs> That's awesome. So let me give everyone tripod where it came from. And there was, I'm going to do a video at some point, but not many people knew me when I had two legs currently, besides family. Um, I lost my leg to cancer when I was 15. So, but before then, I was, you know, and doing a work co op um, at my high school. And I was working at a conduit company. I found out that my leg needed to be amputated because I had cancer. And they said, Well, when you come, you have a job when you come back. I'm like, Well, I sure hope so. <laughs> so that's the nice thing to do and the right thing to do. Um, so I've always had like a part-time job moving fast forwarding 10 plus years. And, um, I was working at Home Depot part-time and here comes a guy that I worked with at the conduit place and he started working at Home Depot. I, he didn't see me. I saw him. And then one day he saw me, he's like, tripod. I'm like, and then all of a sudden it's stuck. <laughs> so, <laughs> Yeah. That does not sound good. Just try to figure out where it's coming from. It's not coming from the stepper? Mm, I don't think so. We'll see. It's super weird. Nothing rubbing. And I tighten the belts. 
Yeah, I don't see anything <laughs> rubbing. That'll definitely show up in the prints, though. I yeah, I'm not going to really say that out loud there, Mr. Lightspeed, but it's, that's funny. <laughs> that is funny. Such a weird noise. Yeah, it's um, it's. These things should be moving. I mean, obviously the belt will hold it, hold it, but. Yeah, I was thinking about the spur gear or whatever you want to call it, the belt pulley itself, not tightened down. Man, that would be a pain to get to, and this in the way that these things are made. Yeah, I see it. It might be. Let's see. And that's on that's on your I felt like in the beginning it was on it was on the would be my the left side, but we're gonna keep moving. I, I'm gonna deal with this later. Uh um, yeah, I mean it, these laser engravers, you know, they, they don't Yeah, move. it does sound like a zip tie dragon, but it's not like Super freaking weird. Yeah, mine, mine doesn't, yours, yours nice doesn't make smooth. special noises. I mean, I mean, if you don't feel any binding, I would just say full send. Jeez. Yeah, I'm doing it. Um, it's just a weird, a weird noise, a weird noise. Yeah, um, so on this laser, it's um, the the shield, you mm -hmm. know that you know that you always see when they do live streams. They forget to put their eye protection on, but that shield is magnetic, which is nice. Yeah, I, I pulled it off there a couple times. I like that um, you can pull it off, get get an idea where you know where you're going to be, fire your laser, and then you can throw it back on there. And it comes with this. Uh, block of aluminum that you could you just adjust your height slide it underneath and that's your focal length both sides yeah it's it's super weird it sounds like slipping on a spur or pulling it we're gonna find out it's definitely some fun noise i just sounds like a fishing reel when you catch a big fish yeah that would be yeah. okay that's, that's not a fan yeah i'll take a big fish um We're almost there. What, what? Holy moly! We've been here for way too long. Yeah, yeah. When uh, Jim said he was posting, I immediately reached out to him on this one. I'm like, it's. You're like, by the way. Say, <laughs> stupid fly. Yeah. Um, yeah. Sixty percent assembled when it took that long. I was just building it and building it. I'm like, oh my goodness, mm -hmm. this is a long build. Well, and and to be fair, I I've, I've been talking a lot, and not. <laughs> We've been building pretty consistently. Yeah. Pretty good. I think I could have built it in less than an hour easily. But um, too much drag, too tight. Maybe that's what uh, loosen, loosen all the belts and find out one time, right? Yeah, yeah because those um, just if you didn't catch the beginning of the stream, these those belts were pre tensioned by the factory. So mm -hmm. let's just I'm gonna loosen both sides. What time is it in the U.S.? Well, Jim and I are both in Central Time, and it's a 10.46 p.m. All right. Here's what I'm going to do. Pull the heck out of this one. Push that forward. I think, I mean, I think it has to definitely do with the belts. It may have not been on that gear all the way. Okay. Because when I loosened it um, just now, the noise went away. So, let's see. I pulled them tight. Let's see if the noise comes back. It could, you know what? It could have been just barely off. Son of a... It's, <laughs> on, it's on this side. And when I loosen the belt, it goes away. So... So, I mean, it's the same type of tension that you would have, like, on a regular belt printer. Yeah. You know? So... Or not be belt twangy. Printer, yeah, so just uh, plucking it like a guitar string, right? Not too tight. You just got to get to it on these. It's not that easy to get to on this one. But 
Because if I loosen it, let's see. If I loosen that belt on both sides here, mm -hmm. there's nothing. Maybe I'm just too tight. Yeah, it's uh, it's not it. it just think of it as um, a little bit looser than the um, a three D right. printer. And it might have been. Nope. Full send. Screw it. I'm done. Yep. yep. I'm not, I'm not messing with it anymore. I barely even pull it on this thing, just enough to make it, you know, not loose. Whatever. I'll deal with it later. All right. Wiring's in. Check. I think we're all here. Check. Yep. This is what it looks like from the front. 4.47 a.m. Oh, my gosh, man. That's dedication, Andrew. Yeah. My my little guy would be up like in an hour or something. <laughs> yeah, I'll be getting up for work. Speaking of that, a few minutes ago, I looked over and he's standing up in his room drinking <laughs> his water. I was like, whoa, it scared the crap out of me. I'm not going to lie. I was just didn't expect him to be standing. But um, we, oh my God. Yeah, it's not too bad. I, I opened windows finally today. Um, yeah, it wasn't that bad here. A little bit humid, but it wasn't too bad. Um, let's see. Oh, I got lots of good stuff that I've been ignoring, so I'm going to come back to it, except for my wife that said she was going to bed. Oops. <laughs> good night, honey. <laughs> <laughs> All right. It looks like we're good here. Um, there's some adjustments it says to make um, on both sides. That would be the belts, it looks like. Yep. Um, method one, the fixed length of the column. This is a focusing. Um, let's see. Before engraving, focus needs to be adjusted. It needs to be on the surface of the engraved object. And then the focal distance is 23 millimeters. The fixed column can be assist. Uh, and the Z-axis lift module knob, blah, blah, blah. Okay, let me get something to burn. We're going to burn some stuff. Probably should plug it in and make sure we don't have smoke too, right? Yeah, so there's no limit switches on this, just letting everyone know. Uh, Typically yeah. in light burn, you could just print in place, basically, <laughs> or mm -hmm. burn in place. You could just set it to where you want in the engraving area and just go. Um, that's what a lot of people prefer, but I'm a limit switch fan. Yes, I am People too. are not. Um, I am a, I probably should plug this in and get light burn up, huh? <laughs> yeah. Does it tell you, does it walk you through setting yeah, up it, the light? Yeah, burn? it tells you how to set up and Good. it's in the, I think it's in the, one of the other sheets though. It's, I don't think it's in that packet. Oh boy. Then, it's the, the other, standard other sheets. Yeah. So it's the standard, uh, plug it in laser, you know, the, the gerbil. Mm -hmm. And then just 300, 300. Is this 300 by 300? Yeah, I believe so. I thought it was, it does look smaller, but I thought it was 400 by four something. Because it's, isn't it 40 centimeters by 44 centimeters? Oh, yeah. Well, you got to take into account the steppers and, <laughs> and the front of the laser head. Hey, look, we'll use this cardboard because... I left my good stuff outside, so we're going to burn some carbon. I probably shouldn't be burning a lot in, in the studio anyway, but we're doing it. We're going to put this down under. I'll get good video of that. Don't worry. I promise. Um, that'll happen. There's a bunch of the user guide FAC. Uh, let's see. That doesn't help me. All right. So I'm just looking through. The other stuffs here. I'm gonna grab light burn up on my on my um let's see here. Fixed thickness plate. Oh, so you can bring the you can bring it right down on this thing. Focus adjustment. Let's see. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Interesting. It says you can almost bring it right down on that shield, right? Yeah, I, I think it's um 
what was it? Uh, you take the shield off, right? And then you use that. I used to, for, it depends on the laser head, right? The focal length, but mm -hmm. um, like ever since I had the Congro Z1, I actually used a blank or an SD card, standard size SD card, and I put it underneath it. My, it's like two millimeters off. Nice. Yeah, burn edge of tech into the table, Rob says. I should. Yeah, I was. I like the safety. Let it fly. I, yeah, I like that limit switches because I can't stand hearing it bump and grind. Mm. Let's just put the darn safety. Uh, there's safety limit switches okay. in. Okay. Um, um. Well, crap. So it's like, hey, by the way, you have a new version of Lightburn. <laughs> yeah. Well, you guys skip it, which is good. So, yeah. Uh, let's do this. Okay. So I'm going to go to setup. Do you guys want to just share my screen? Let's share my screen. Why yeah. not? Yeah, it's a 300 by 300. That's what that's what your final answer is, huh? Yep. All right. Oops. Here. All right. <laughs> We're sharing. Sharing is caring. If I can find my mouse, there it is. Let's burn some stuff so we can so we can check this out and go to bed. <laughs> um, devices. Will it find it? Yep, when you hit next. Let's see if it finds it. I think it's a manual setup, but we'll see. We'll find out. I didn't even pay attention to see if it connected. I probably should have looked. Yeah, I think it's a manual setup, so you can cancel that. Jerks. <laughs> uh, who's tweeting? What is this? Gerbil. Serial. What do we want to call this thing? <laughs> We're going to call it Three Trees. Two trees. And of course, it says inches. <laughs> What's the length in inches? Uh, what is that? What's that? It should be. I mean, let me do millimeters. Two inches conversion because I suck at this. Oh, I always just done 300, 300. Uh, we can do that, I, but it says inches. Well, really? Maybe I'm crazy. Yeah, I'll show you. Uh, unless I'm crazy because let me open up my be, That'll be one hell of a yeah, you know. Let's see, download the software. Got it. Yeah. Mm -hmm. All right. So we go to new version. Oops. Nope. Come six. I was just seeing it. devices. Hmm. Doesn't say. All right. Yeah. See, it says inches. X excess length in inches. Oh, wait. Length in millimeters. There you go. But what's weird is it literally says inches right here. Yeah, because mine, both of mine says millimeters for X and Y. Right, We're right using here. Gerbil. Yep. <laughs> which, which one did you pick? Um, go back, hit cancel, close that box. Uh, I used, uh, I picked Gerbil. This one. Okay. Okay, next. Next, serial. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Yep. And then I called this two trees. And then down here it says the lengths in millimeters X and Y. But then yeah. next to it here it says inches. I'm going for it. <laughs> it's either going to be awesome or, or giant. <laughs> We're going to find out. Yeah, I click on mine and it says millimeters X and Y. Yeah. And both mine. Do I want a home in the front left? Yeah. Why not? Do I want an auto home? Nope. <laughs> Yeah. <laughs> Otherwise, we'll, that won't go well. Um, okay, let's do this. So, let's go two trees. What is that beep? What? 
No, I, I got this beep in the garage is driving me nuts. Right. Um, I don't want to home it. <laughs> right? No. That would be not my favorite. Let's just try something. Wow. That's, that's, oh. uh, <laughs> that sounds great. I have a feeling we're 300 by 300 is a little off here. Yeah, uh, <laughs> just a little. Because... Um, yeah, right here. See this? 762 by 762. It was in inches. That's hilarious. <laughs> I am not watching chat. I apologize, chat. 11.8. We're going to go with 11.8 inches. Yeah. It's 11.811. Yeah, eleven point eight one one. Chat, that grinding was for you. <laughs> All right, let's turn it back on. We're gonna select the two trees. It's gonna be in COM four. Reset it. Hmm. Where's my burn tab? Yo. Weird. What are you looking for? Super weird. Well, just uh, throw something in your area just to uh, type something. Yeah. Um, I was looking for. <laughs> yeah, it's not happy about it. I don't think. Oh. You know, I might need to set where my origin is, huh? Or do you usually just um, bring it to the center? Let me uh, let me check mine here. Let me switch. Well, my mine is definitely not driving the way it should be driving. No. So we're gonna we're gonna go out on a limb and say that right away. Um, let me. Well, you got the right person to say that to. Um, <laughs> <laughs> nice. Yeah, I have my job origin just in the center. I don't. I didn't do anything. Okay. You know. So um, when I move this thing, it is not happy about it. So I, it's got to be something loose or not. Right. Check this out. <laughs> oh, oh, that sounds awful. It thinks awful. this is the center. So that's odd, isn't it? Yeah. But um, It sounds like shifting my car into reverse. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, yeah, you're right. Yeah, because if yeah, if you keep if you have a part there, right, and then you hit origin, right, it should go. Or if you set have you set position. your origin? Yeah, yeah, yeah. I'm gonna set set position. Um, hey, Jake from State Farm, what's going on? Yeah, well, we can set origin. That's fine. Right there. So theoretically. It doesn't know where the hell it is. Interesting. Because it should be. Um, it doesn't really matter. But if what's going to be interesting is why is it doing this? This this crazy noise. Oh. <laughs> Did you see that? Yeah, I think it's. Uh, it might be skipping a belt here. Yeah, it has to be. It, well, you said you loosened the, the mm -hmm. belts, and they may be a little bit too loose now. <laughs> We're gonna. I'm going back. We're gonna tighten it up. Yeah, that definitely I seems like it's skipping around a little bit. <laughs> We're going for like super freaking tight and maybe that'll fix the problem <laughs> it was definitely jumping oh yeah 
is not not happy about that. I just want to see this thing burn. We've been here for two freaking hours. All right. No, so no, I don't think uh, printer prime that it's a uh, a mix. I think the motors are running backwards here. You do? Yeah, because when I well, maybe no. Well, remember you have one um, X axis that's not not behaving well. I'm gonna unplug this just temporarily. So this, you know what what's going on here? Oh, you know what? Yeah, your X I and think, Y mixed. Yeah, that's what's <laughs> going on here. I'm pretty sure. Let's let's do this. That would explain why it's moving erratically, and it doesn't know where the heck it is. Give me a second. Yeah, Jay, I have the same laser cutter. Um, I do have video out on it. What's up, man? Long time no see. So I, I, yeah, I plugged these in backwards. I'm 99% sure here. Which would explain why we're getting some crazy movement, but not explain this, still the crazy sound, the, the grinding. Right? Yeah. It's, um, it does sound like um, someone, um, not pushing it clutch in all the way. Yeah. <laughs> right. All right. Okay. Now. Ah. See that? Much better. No, okay. So now let's go here. Yeah, and then if you already set your origin, so say what center? Get position set origin right there. Okay. Oh, you know what? Yeah, I gotta change that. So Because the job origin's in the center. I think uh, Sam Prentice sabotaged my garage and put something hidden that beeps. <laughs> I want to put right, past them. We're doing this. So if I draw a freaking, excuse my language, if I draw a square right or a rectangle right here, and I come up here and we just do a quick line, there we go. We come down here and we hold shift frame. All right, that's what I want to see. That's all that matters right there. Okay. All right. So um, now you're gonna take your uh your shield off and you're gonna well find out what you're gonna engrave first. Hopefully you got something to protect your surface so you, so you don't go through your table. Well, if not, if I do, it'll be fun. <laughs> it's a nice looking table. <laughs> I what sucks because it's outside. Um I, I brought it with me. I just didn't bring it in. I, I have an that, idea. I have thanks an idea. That, the garage is almost done. Um, it's just got some wiring left to do, and then last part of oh, orientation. Yeah. I got Murph stuff all over the middle of the garage. Oh, so yeah. I haven't put away my tools or anything. That won't help me. Um, screw it. They're going for it. <laughs> well, we're gonna go. We're. I don't, this might be too thick, but I'll okay. I'll put a piece of the foam here that came with the printer underneath as my as my spoil board. <laughs> oh. Yeah, there we go. All right, shoot. What happened to Jim? Uh, he uh, he inhaled some foam. <laughs> yeah, right. Kids, do not do this at home. Okay, yeah, I'm not. Well, I'm not going to burn the foam. Well, hopefully. Well, um, I assume that you'll probably set it at like 5% and then bring it up. Yeah. From there. So you can see here what I'm doing. I took off the shield. I have this little um, thingamajigger here, there. And I believe that goes underneath, yep. right? Yeah, right in the corner. Right in the corner. Yep. The corner? Yep. And then lower it. 
So he's loosening this lock screw on the side, and then top screw will raise and lower it. And it should be at the top uh, rung, right? Yep. Just enough to barely sit on there, right? And then yep. we'll tighten that back in. Put this back over here. We'll put this. This the... is pretty awesome. Yeah, I like that. That's magnetic. Okay. Check. Now, what I want to do is just uh, let's delete that. I'm going to go grab uh, my logo. Why not? And we'll burn that, right? Oh, yeah. Full, full color. Um, yeah, why not? I don't care. There we go. How about not that big, though? Oh, I was trying to draw squares all over because I accidentally grabbed the square tool. That's one thing you got to be careful. Make sure you're on the make sure you're on the pointer in light burn. <laughs> There you go. <laughs> All right. Maybe a little smaller. There we go. I can trace it. We'll just do a quick trace. Why not? Mm -hmm. Trace it. We're going to give it a color. We'll just do the outline. Uh, it's set at 18,000 right now. I don't think it moves oh, that geez. fast. Um, no. Um, but it's also a cardboard stock, so it's... Uh, yeah. How about 1,200 and... Yeah, what? Probably like... I would start with pretty low power. It is a 5.5 watt. People are surprised on how powerful that 25, is. 25%? Yeah. I would think about so. Two, how about 2,000 at 25%? Yeah. That's uh, yeah, since it's cardboard stock, that sounds good, right? Output there, we go. Turn this off. I don't know what this is. Oh, this and so here. to give you a, a 20 watt laser, went through this thick on two passes. I almost made it on one pass. Wow, yeah. so close i'm trying to move this dang thing again there we go and of course uh i accidentally drew a bunch of squares mm -hmm. no one can see. i just realized i'm not sharing that screen i apologize um all right here we go i got it just a line let's just do a quick frame looks like about the right size I don't really care about it being centered on this piece here. Um, I just want you guys to be able to see it. So there's that. Should we do it? Let's do it. Fire away. All right, peeps. Uh, here we go. You're smoking. That's yeah, barely. It's barely etching it. So we're okay speed wise. It is smoking like a banshee though. It's cardboard. That is a tiny line, too. Yeah, I think it's a 0 0.08. Yeah. I might cut through. <laughs> yeah, you would think that the focal length, though, would prevent it from hitting your, from how high it is. Oh, I'm not worried about it. I got foam underneath. That's pretty yeah. that's safe. It's very safe. Yes, kids. Um, don't be doing this at home. So we're burning. We're burning. We've been here for two hours, 10 minutes. Took me a, a while we were talking and like you know BS and all that stuff. Um, so this yeah this is Wi-Fi compatible. Um, I did take apart the board uh, the that control box. And I did find the that they do have a wire stuffed in there, so you can mount it somewhere outside of there. Right, antenna wire. And I'm being very safe. Look, see. Yeah, 0 0.08. I was right. 0 0.08. All right, it's done. Yeah, I, mm -hmm. 
Just for argument's sake, let's see if it went through. Nope. We were going fast enough where it didn't go through, so that that's okay. Um, it also barely, barely shows up on there. Oh, yeah, you can barely see it. Yeah, you can Those barely me. see it in there. So what we're going to do is flip this bad boy over. Um, it's not like that because it doesn't like So that. one of the, the things that I put down is uh, – a negative is I called it pass through material. There is only one spot for pass through, and that is the back of the machine. Otherwise, yeah. it's blocked on every other side. You can't get any material through. That's so, true. It would have been nice to raise up the control box a little. <laughs> yep. Um, but I think we need to see a better burn than that. So, oh, yeah. let's full let's send. Yeah. Uh, a fill. How about a fill? There you go. It's going to take forever, probably. Let me look. Here. Yeah. Well, you always do an outline and then fill, right? You can do both. Why is it so slow? 2000. I had it at 2000. That was moving pretty slow. Um, but that's also millimeters per minute versus per second. So that's one thing that's like uh, what the 20. current. We're not doing 28 minutes. Hang on. I got to shrink this down quite a bit. There you go. Four minutes. That's acceptable. Uh, I, I did 2000 at 30. You know, I'm just curious. I wonder what the speeds are set on this thing anyway. Um, yeah. Is, is your light burn configured for diode? Uh, it should be. Let me just double check. Yeah, so you go under. I use uh, both on here. So, so I uh, use both. Yeah, so go to edit and then. Uh, yeah, settings or device settings. Uh, I believe so. Or, uh, no, or settings. settings. Just regular yeah. settings. Yeah, just make sure. And it's that's where. Yep. It is. And that's where your uh, millimeters and per yep. minute. Yeah. So I do inches slash millimeters a minute. Yeah, uh, yeah better for diode. Right. Yep. Um, and you can see, oh, you know, I keep doing this. There you go. Uh, this. Good night, Mr. Travis. Later, later. Thank you so much for hanging out, uh, watching us burn some stuff. You ready to burn some more stuff? Let's do it. So, yeah, set here. I'm wondering if the actual speeds and stuff are set. But let's do it. We're doing it. I grab my glasses here. Yeah, I need to get the good set that you you have. Ooh, I love those. Um, I do. I do like the nicer set that I have. Let's see. Where did I just put those? What, one thing about this is that shield does really, really help. Because I, I don't know. Yeah. At least. Uh, yeah. It, um. The shield is nice uh, because then you could actually look at it a little bit more without getting a headache. Mm -hmm. I'm curious. I'll look in this manual and check out what it wants us to set the speeds at and stuff. Because we might have to actually go set that in here. Because this seems very slow. I mean, compared to like my D1 or whatever, you know. That thing flies though. Uh, we'll have to go. I'll have, I'll have to go check it out and see what the actual speeds are and acceleration and all the good stuff. Because doesn't this seem super slow to you, or is that well, did yeah, you I see would, that normal for you? I, I would say that's not too bad. No. Um. I mean, you got a good burn going. Hopefully, it's not too loud. But I'm kicking up my air purifier here. That sounds fine. My end. Yeah, uh, I don't think there's no smoke alarm over here, so that's good. <laughs> <laughs> oh yeah, What's when up? I when I was testing this laser today, I opened. I had to open up the garage and, because I was cutting through a three quarter inch uh, pine. Yeah, so it, it instantly plumed in the garage. Three quarter inch. Yep. Holy moly. 
Uh, is it designed to have an air nozzle? You know, I no. I didn't see that, but the shield actually has a hole. So it, it might it might be possible that they add one sometime. Um, yeah, let me check their site real quick because I'm yeah. still on it. it they might see add they it. Have, see if they have any accessories. And it's not looking bad here. I mean, it's super. It's going very slow for what I'm used to. Um, but you know that doesn't mean anything. I just feel like I set it at two thousand speed and that to me seems like it should be faster but again I need to check out what everything's set at oh man it's been awesome everybody if you have any questions shoot them over um, we are going to probably shut down the stream in the next few minutes here 10 tops because I know tripod probably wants to go to bed and I want to go home and go to bed I got a little <laughs> guy all day tomorrow Lindsay's oh, teaching wow. a babysitting class in the morning. Um, and then she's coming home, and her and her dad are going down to Chicago Comic Con. Um, the, <laughs> the Chicago, it's not called Comic Con. I think it's Fan Fest now, or whatever oh. they call it. It's basically Comic Con. Um, but they are going, there's a bunch of Star Trek and Lord of the Rings people that are going to be there. Oh, yeah. And and her dad is her dad and her are both fans of both and so she's actually taking him down for for his birthday um that was his present from her is she, she's going to go down spend some time with him like you know you're going to leave at noon ish and spend the rest of the day down there and it'll take i think two hours to get there from here with the traffic and stuff but um all the stuff they want to see is later in the day anyway so okay. i get to hang out with the little guy all day tomorrow maybe we'll come very, visit your garage. There you go. Um, uh, is it at the there's at the Stevenson or is it at um, mm -hmm. McCormick? Yeah. No, it's yeah, it's in Rosemont. Okay, yeah. So yeah, the Stevenson is they do a lot of cosplay, yeah. a lot. We've uh, we've been to a lot of comic cons there. Uh, we usually stay down there, and then we go over to the um, Brazilian Steakhouse that's right there, too. Oh, yeah. yeah that's a good place. Oh, man. Yeah. That stuff is yeah. great. Um, from what I've heard, it helps. Yes. VW is electronics. Yeah, air assist is always awesome. Um, if you're cutting. Yep. Cut if through. you are engraving, do not use air assist. If you don't want to use air assist while you're engraving. Like if you're doing pictures, um, stuff like I just did. With this, and I'll show you what this looks like in a second here. You don't want to use air assist on this, but hey, that's pretty good. Yeah, and I didn't even hear any oh, grinding. Yeah. So no, that all went away when I tightened the crap out of the uh, gear. You know what's interesting? Tightening the belts and then having that stepper backwards. Yeah, uh, but that looks good. Yeah, it looks really good. I didn't. I didn't do it big. You know, I I made it small. Um, you know, I had to because I don't want it to, you know, we want to spend all day here, but I just feel like it's super slow. I, I, I got to have a setting. Something's interesting. Um, well, that's like a good day. But says, yes, I'll, it's going to be an awesome day tomorrow, all day with the little guy. It is going to be so much fun. Um, I, I'm just trying to think what we're going to do. So I have an RC plane. Um, I have a couple, but one that's a park flyer electric that I'm learning <laughs> how to fly, but it's, it's super light. It's foam and I can't go out if it's too windy. So I'm oh, hoping yeah. maybe in the morning, it's not too windy. What was that? Um, yeah, if you go back to edit and then settings again, yeah. mm -hmm. um, better for diode. Are you on millimeters per minute? Yeah. Okay. Uh, well, inches slash millimeters per minute. So my measurements are in inches. Oh, oh, oh no. So you switch it to millimeters per minute. I'll show you in a second here. Yeah. It's the better for dialed third option down. Yeah, I have mine at the first one. Um, and I just, for whatever reason, I like to measure in. Um, oh, okay. You like freedom units? Yeah, yeah. You know, okay. it's a, basically. I'm talking like to yeah, I was talking to Joseph Prusa. I was saying how hot it was. I said it was like, you know, 98 degrees when I picked up uh, Sam. 
And he's like, I don't understand freedom units. <laughs> I was like, oh, that's hilarious. That is funny. Um, so I have an idea for one more burn before we go here. I'm just trying to get it set up in light burn, not trying to ignore everybody. Yeah, I, uh, since I've been doing so many of these laser reviews, I just keep it on that now. So that way my reviews are consistent. Otherwise, I'll be doing the same thing with you. I, uh, it's still tough for me to do the millimeters, especially like when I'm installing stuff in the garage. It's all still standard. Oh, really? Oh, yeah. I mean, yeah, I mean, I'm using a tape measure. I'm not using it, you know? It's, yeah, I suppose. I uh, I have, I bought a a pretty sweet tape measure that does both. <laughs> well, it oh, does. Yeah. Um, and it was pretty much, I'm trying to get this right here. Britain is supposed to be going back to freedom units. Oh, that sounds good. Interesting. Well, it sucks so as well. Working on a, a, a U.S. made car is still in a hodgepodge. Well, most of it's starting to become metric, but. Yeah. The darn 10 millimeter. Oh, man. The one we everybody loses every five seconds. Oh, yeah. Well, I found a socket when we were cleaning out the garage. I'm like, oh, is that a 10 millimeter? Nope, it was a nine. That's funny. So I'm hurrying, everybody. I'm, I'm uh, literally trying to trace this picture um, and make it look good real quick here. Oh, that's one thing I do a lot is I do the trace and then make it into a vector. And it makes everything go so much better. Yeah, I, I don't disagree with you. It's a matter of actually getting a trace that looks good. Oh, I'm so close. <laughs> Screw it. We're doing it. Um, we're going to fill. We're going to do the same settings we just did. Ooh, we're going to have to make it a little smaller, though, because that's 20 minutes. Uh, BWs, I, did, I, I thought it was like a, a joke hearing that Boris resigned. And then I actually went on the internet. I'm like, oh my gosh, he actually did resign. Yeah, that, that, yeah. <laughs> All right. We're just going to do the outline on this one. That's only going to be, it's going to be very fast. Um, but I need to make sure I have enough room here. And like you said, unfortunately, for some dang reason, they didn't do a lot of pass through here. Um, yeah, it, it needs to be raised up. It's a, uh, and then you you see like uh, like the Comgo Z1 and other laser engravers that they don't have the stepper motors hanging off the sides. Mm -hmm. All right, you ready for this? Yep. We turn the. I think the. I may need a new battery here. Dang it. Real quick, I got to sw swap uh, GoPro batteries. My uh, handy dandy GoPro here was running that whole time. And luckily, I have a bajillion batteries for this same model because most of them were the same for a while. And I just bought that newer one that. There we go. Pop this back in. And they're pretty fast to change. So that's my issue on Maker Deck right now. I think it, the battery keeps dying. It's not staying charged. Um, it's not staying charged uh, for the hours I need it to stay charged. So I might have to buy that like media thing, which kind of sucks to me. But I wish I could get this closer. So you could actually see this better. Hmm. Ah, let me think about it. All right, here we go. We're going for it. Yeah, you, it's hard to see. Let's see. Is this one any better? Nope. Well, it's burning. You can see that it's burning, right? <laughs> yep. Everybody else, how you doing? Thank you so much for being here still. Uh, we are rocking and rolling. This is... The last test one we're going to do here, if you have any questions, feel free to let me know. Again, John from Tripods Garage is with us as well, and 
he has one of these and he's been an awesome resource all night and great to talk to i appreciate the company it's a little better than just talking to myself all the time <laughs> um no problem well that didn't do what i thought no. it was gonna do <laughs> did you just have it on line mode yeah oh well, yeah you did a trace so i have it on 40 40 power at 2000 on line mode and it's let me just see no that's okay let's see if you can see here what i did i did line mode because it was going to take too long uh <laughs> nice tripod's garage avatar yeah I, I i snatched it quick from your twitter here you know, was hey, to, it was pretty see. good let me see here that's going to be a bad because there's not enough light up there. It's right here. The, the challenge is here. I got an idea. The challenge is it. I did it in line mode and it's not dark enough on this. There you go. You can see it. It's hilarious. <laughs> Do you have the Otor uh, 3? Um, no. Okay. Yeah. Either do I. I don't have any Otor. I did not take it. I said no. Um, well, yeah, if you were not part of the discussion, it's uh, kind of hard to do the reviews of the same type of style. And yes, and basically that's, you know, it's you're getting a laser head. Right. With gantry, you know, I uh, mean, it's, but Rob Joe, to be fair, I cannot say yes or no if this thing's better than that. Um, but I have the Laser Master 2. I have the Laser Master 2 Pro. I might have another one of the Laser Masters. Um, I mean, they are they are great machines. I mean, they really are. Yeah, I mean, it's. I did this. Nope, oh, oh, let me uh, hang on. I keep forgetting I had my. Let's see. Take this off solo mode. There you go. Yeah, that was done on it. So it does a good job. Yeah, the, the Laser Master is good. This this machine, um, I'm going to have to go out, out on a limb and say for the couple burns I used. Solid. It is super solid to hold. The If you were here earlier, we were having some issues with noise and all that. That is fixed now. So it must have been a belt. Um, something. But it's fixed now. Um and so that's good it's light you could probably pick this thing up and take it with wherever just don't lose the uh thing in the front there yeah um i i'm super impressed with how how small of line this is actually putting out for a five and a half watt laser uh, or dial because usually the smaller the dial the two you know the one and a half twos are much better at engraving yeah, um, you're right. With the the wattage, it tends to lose. You're, yeah, you're, well, that. your diode size gets bigger, right? And when your when your spot gets bigger, that's why I'm pretty impressed with how they use the lens in this thing or whatever. I, I have to look it up because I saw something about the lenses in this that was supposed to be different um, on this particular diode. But what I like about it is they really have that comp that spot compressed, and that's going to be great for engraving. Um, yeah, you'll get I, the detail. I, one thing I'm trying to raise this thing way up now, but um, I don't ever like to leave them down because I crash them sometimes. I get it, but but, but uh, you know what? I, I'm pretty impressed with this thing. I think it was like five something on Amazon. It's there's a link in the description if you want to check that out. Yeah, uh, three hundred. Um, oh, is it? Yep. Oh. Yeah, on Two Trees site and Amazon. Awesome. I wonder if I grabbed the wrong one. I better check this. Yeah, two ninety nine, but that's um, not their the official store. But it's two ninety nine on Amazon, and then I would, on their site, two trees. Here. Oh yeah, two nine. You're right. You're right. Two ninety nine on Amazon. Um, five and a half watt. They call it a forty watt laser engraver, but yeah, 
It's not a free and right one. now, uh, Two Trees is offering a 20% off coupon code. Yes, that you could offer on their website. Um, and they have the different versions on here too. So, this they have the 5.5, the 2S, and I have the 555. Yeah, the 55. Um, but yeah, so 299 actually, that's a pretty solid price for this thing. Um, yeah, so <laughs> I think. Drunk. I think uh, that you'll have to check. I'm not sure I mean, if they have a shipping to Australia, maybe through Amazon. Um, would this cut through one eighth wood for crafting? I think it can. Um, hold on, let me get that. It it might. I, I'm not going to say no, but it might if you burn through enough. I mean, with enough passes, yeah, uh, you can you can, but it might not look pretty. Um, but one eighth is pretty thin. I mean, I'm guessing one eighth might be like what this cardboard is here. It's pretty thin. Uh, and they do offer a, a ex expansion kit to make it four twenty by four hundred. Nice. I am going to check out. Um, I'm definitely going to check out the settings, though. I'm a little bit. I don't. I don't think this thing's moving as fast as it should, but maybe that's just the machine, you know? Where is it? Um, they did show a pass through. Eight millimeters, they said. Um, it could cut up to eight millimeters, and but the problem is it doesn't say how many passes. So that for a five watt laser, that's to do it on one pass, even if it's really, really slow. Yeah. Um, that's to me doesn't sound right and i've you know i mean i've done seven reviews on lasers but right well we can i mean real quick we could if i can find my mouse i can just make a quick circle here right and <laughs> i do that every time with the circles um bw's i we didn't find any air assists on there so on their site um, Air assist is starting to become more and more popular with yeah. um, newer designs that these uh, manufacturers are coming out with. All right, just for the argument's sake, one thousand of speed and eighty power, one pass. Let's see what it does on. Oh, you know what? I unplugged it all. Um, I want to see what it does to this cardboard. <sighs> Their TS2 looks like nothing. It has drag, and nothing like this one. It has drag chains. It's got, mm. it just, I mean. Well, it, the whole reason I got this one is because they were offering me a different one that isn't out yet, I think. Oh, um, this, yeah, this TS looks amazing. Which one is that? The one looks like a box that's enclosed? No, no, this is all open, but I oh. mean. Yeah, you go on to Two Trees site. Yeah. Um, there we go. I just clicked this back on. We're going to flip this camera back around. I'm going to burn the crud out of this. Now I'm going to have to. Steel and cut 15 millimeter plywood. What's the. It's kind of autofocus. And it's got air assist built in. Is that uh, which one are you looking at? At the TS, their brand new one that just came that came out. Is that the one that is looks like it's enclosed. No, it's it's, no? it's open. Weird. Um, let me throw it into the private chat, and you could just pull it up. Oh, I, I mean, this looks up. so professional. I can pull up the website real quick too. All right, here we go. So here's here's what we got, peeps. Um, I'm gonna move this around in a second. Here you're gonna see the frame. Good. Here we go. You ready? Let me throw my glasses on because I'm I pumped this thing up to. I pumped this thing up. To like yeah, 80%. I think um, so. A lot of these um, companies are now starting to make optional enclosures that are ventilated. Oh, what? Yeah. 
This should only take a second. Okay. That was a thousand speed at 80%. This is where it burned. See that hole right here? The circle? Mm hmm. And it did. It was pretty clean through the cardboard. A little bit of right here that didn't go through. But it's usually, yeah, that's usually your starting point. And that's yeah. where I always had a problem was like it doesn't do an overlap. So it, that was 1000 speed on this one at 80%. It did burn through this cardboard and it did char it a little bit. I always check that just for the heck of it on the sides, but not bad. Now, you know, that was cardboard, okay? <laughs> <laughs> so slow it down, turn it up, a, a bunch of passes, this thing might go through it. Um, cool. Any other questions before we call it a day? Uh, okay, so this new one is uh, the one that TS2 oh, yeah. is a 10-watt version. I'm, I'm popping this open, yeah. And still cutting depth at 15 millimeters? No. Sorry. Uh, it's not. That's how How many millimeters is this? 15 millimeters is huge. Yeah. Um, but, yeah, that. I mean, that looks cool. What size is this, though? Oh, look at that. Engraving area about the same size. Well, yeah, ish. I thought, yeah, it's 400. That's more of a, you know, standard of the industry. So yeah. this right here, I'm doing testing a, a, oh, um, a 20 watt laser diode. This is 17.8 millimeters. And that did it at two millimeters per second. Woo. Yeah. And almost in one pass. So you're not going to get that unless you go super slow and, and Holy chances God. are, it will do a fire. That one has a fire detection on it, mm -hmm. and it, chances are it'll it'll stop it before it will. Two. You said two millimeters. What's that? Wow. You said two millimeters per pass. Uh, no, two uh, two millimeters per second. Or per second, I mean. That's what yeah, I meant. Yeah, what did yeah. I say? Per so, pass. Um, so I have to so see I what the equation is for that. This but. is this is the one that they were going to send me originally. Yeah, that, that's nice. I like that that one's enclosed. It's, it's enclosed. Um, it's a smaller, um, you know, it's a smaller build area, I think, inside. I guess we'll have to look. I'm not, but, you, ha, you know, you can do, uh, it looks like a button yeah, on a the outside. Yeah, it's a built-in rotary. It has built-in yeah. air, air filtration. Is that built-in? Yeah. I think you can set it in there. Yeah, the, there's a cable here. It, oh, and it does have that new one, um, the TS2 uh, oh, Robo Joe, has uh, limit switches on it. Oh, yeah. Well, I don't know. Um, I don't think you can disable the fire detect because that's in the laser module itself. Um, you know, the some of them have one. So when you get one that has the fire detect, usually it has the motion sensor as well. And... Um, it just depends on which laser head they get or a board. Yeah, I, I'm not sure. This engraving size, 300 by 200, is a little smaller. Mm -hmm. um, they do have a five or a ten watt. And see, that's where they see where they catch you with output power. You know, it's like, yeah. it's not that doesn't matter. Yeah. But this doesn't matter, yeah. Yeah. Um, but what's nice about this this one is um, that's there you go. There's a there's a good shot of your ten watt probably there with two diodes. Mm -hmm. I'm guessing. Um, yep. And what's nice about this one is fully enclosed. It has the shield here, but it also has the lid that comes down, which is awesome. Um, it looks like it can cut through. Well, according to that, you know they always show the cool pictures. Um, this, this shield is awesome. I love that. Yep. If you're burning something, that means if someone walks into the room, they're not going to go blind. <laughs> I mean, yeah, I was originally thinking about, terms. I was thinking about bringing a laser with, Ooh. but then I didn't want to be responsible tomorrow. It has a honeycomb. 
Mm -hmm. um, that's pretty awesome. It has a attachment for the rotary. Uh, the rotary is built in. You take out the honeycomb. You think so? Uh, or you, uh, yeah, I think or not built in. Maybe you place it in and. But I think yeah, you I think you the play, honeycomb bed, and then yeah, I think you're right because that would be bad, man. If you burn it yeah. through your honeycomb and <laughs> yeah. rip, ripping up that rotary, that would suck. Um, but I mean, it has an exhaust that you can put in with a fan, a little blower fan here that'll help a little. I'm sure that would help some, um, especially if you can go outside with that. Um, nice. I mean, oh look at this. Yeah, like I said, I built in. It looks like it has a. Air purifier. Yeah, air purifier. yeah. I was on their live stream when they were introducing it. Nice. I mean, this this thing. Now this is the kind of laser that we definitely need to check out, right? Yeah. Um, it's super cool. It, it looks like a lot of good tech in there. It looks like they thought a lot of, through it. Um, yeah, it looks like you can shoot through Wi-Fi. I'm hoping you can <laughs> use light burn. Please say you can use light burn. Hmm. That said, their app, wireless transmission, interesting. But you're right. Um, there's offline modes, which is good. Multiple offline modes. Maybe that means light burn. <laughs> I like light burn a lot. But yeah, I, I mean, I'm, that's, that's pretty cool. But um, I'm not even showing you. I'm, I'm cycling through this talking and not even showing it. Sorry, guys. Um, but yeah, I, I I think for what this one is, the one they sent me today, um, it is not a bad little laser. It it cut like it was supposed to, or like it did cut like it was supposed to. It engraved like it was supposed to. Um, it. I'm gonna die. I'm gonna play with speeds because I think this could go much faster. I feel like yeah. all the new ones today should be much faster than this was moving, and I set it pretty slow. So that could have been, that could be on me. Um, overall, what's your thought? I mean, you've had it for a little while longer than I have. I mean, opened at least. <laughs> yeah, yeah so, it's, uh, I didn't have many bad things to say about it. It was definitely the pass through was irritating because yeah. it, it three sections is cut off. So putting materials mm -hmm. in, you know, what is he, um, what he means is um, just so you can see this. This this can't go forward here anymore because the control panel goes all the way down to the ground. So if this was a long piece of material, you can go in from the back like this, um, but you can't pass through it anywhere. Um, if it was raised, you could. I guess you could make feet for it. Yep. And just raise it up. And that was um, my suggestion during the, yeah. I said that, yeah. you know, all they had to do is make the, you know, the risers a little bit taller uh, because yeah. now, and you also, side left and your left and your right is blocked too with the stepper motors yeah the, you can't go this way down with the motors right but you only have one section to pass through the material right um bw electronics is that something you could take to a craft fair yeah the the one that was enclosed absolutely you could take take that around um to the craft fairs but but yeah i mean overall you liked it uh mostly yeah it was uh, just overall, a build yeah, yeah, the build was definitely longer than I thought it was going to be. Um, and it is whatever. Holy moly, it's almost midnight. Um, <laughs> <laughs> but the build was definitely longer than I thought it was going to be, but it is what it is. Um, I think it is solid for what it is. I think it's light. It. I think it'll definitely do good. This is one that um, I definitely would give a friend of mine or something if he needed if they needed one. Um, because I have so, yeah, I just have a few that I don't need to keep adding them, <laughs> but this is one that I think I feel comfortable with giving to somebody to learn on, you know? Yeah. It, I think it's a great entry level yeah, machine. Definitely. Um, and it's something to learn off of because it also has Wi-Fi as well. Um, and, uh, again, the antenna is buried in that box that you could take extra, you could, it has double side tape already on it. So you could just uh, fix it to the frame somewhere. Nice. Um, but yeah, it's a, it's a decent little machine. I mean, I, it's not, actually, when I say little, it's 300 by 300 still, if you're in a 3d printing space, that is a right. still big surface area. It's a pretty good but, surface. Yeah. Yeah. But you know, standards are now is a 400 square. Yeah. 
But if that's all you need, if this is all the space you had, mm -hmm. that would be pretty solid. Um, Absolutely. So two trees, I would have to say this. I was a little skeptical coming in. Uh, for 300 bucks, for what I see here, the build and everything, not bad at all. Good job on this thing. Um, I'm hoping you'd let me check out that that other one, the TS3, I think it was called still. Um, and I promise it'll go much faster than this one did. <laughs> yeah. um, because, hof I mean, hopefully I'm not getting COVID again and all that. Uh, and <laughs> But long story short, thank you guys for being here. I know we've dwindled in, in people and there's up and down all night. Um, it's been a Friday night tripod. Uh, John, I really appreciate you coming on and... and no problem. Just chatting, hanging out it was a lot of fun. Um, <laughs> was legit trying to first my burn, find my first burn not 30 minutes ago. <laughs> Cody <laughs> says, um, you know, not bad. I, I, I have not put this thing through paces, um, but what I've seen so far, just a little bit, I've seen, I would say not bad. Obviously, John's used it more than I have, and he could say that, but. Um, it was playing a little funky with light burn. <laughs> uh oh. Yeah. Um, I mean, I've engraved. Um, so, to give you an understanding, I've engraved glass but with using tempera paint. I've, uh, I did um, stainless steel. It did a decent job. Again, it's you're, you're oxidizing the stainless steel. You're not actually engraving it. Right. Wood, it did fine. It did a great job on the bamboo uh, cutting board. It's a great little laser for someone that's getting into it yeah just uh knock out you know just dial in your speeds a lot of testing if you're just getting into it it takes a lot of trial and error for speeds and and uh and power um there's a bunch of good tests out there to run to kind of dial in that um but yeah two trees nice work i think uh it's definitely better than i thought i was a little skeptical again coming in uh because you know I saw a laser from Two Trees, but I, I didn't know they did lasers. Uh, but, dude, nice work. Uh, thank you for sending this over, and I appreciate that. And, John, again, thank you for hanging out with me, um, hanging out with us, everybody, right? So, everybody, yep. hang out. Uh, we will we will see you uh, Sunday at noon. Uh, is it noon? I think it's Sunday noon central time. We're going to get out the Solval SVO4 uh, IDEX 3D printer, so we're going to have some fun with that. Um, so yeah, stay tuned for a lot of live streams coming because I have a lot of stuff to catch up on <laughs> and we're going to have some fun, but thank you so much, everybody. I appreciate it, John. I'll be right back with you and yep. uh, everybody else have a great night. Thank you again for being here. Everybody who's stuck around the whole, uh, night, nom fam, I see you. Um, thank you for being here. Everybody who donated the Andrews, um, thank you guys. And, uh, Everybody, uh, I uh, have an Emmanuel Fashion firmware. Yeah, Cody, amen on that. Um, everybody else, have a good night, everybody. We're gonna, we we got to go to bed. We will see you Sunday noon for the SVO4. See you guys later. Have a great weekend, everybody. Bye. <laughs>